Eh. Wait, I realized that I've done a goof. Is it like going to goof the game that seems like Donnie? I shouldn't have gone and done that, Mickey. Hey, Donald, I don't think you should have gone ahead and done that. <sighs> hey, guys. Oh, no. My cameras are not set up today. Yes, I'm wearing the same jacket. This is fine. Um, I'm not supposed to up shit today. I... <laughs> Um, hi. How's things everything? How's everything? Um, yeah. So, <clears throat> we're back at it again. It's your boy, back at it again. We've done a quick, cool fucking. YouTube intro. I'm eating some fucking French fries. Mmm. Yummy. Yummy. Delicious. I fixed my fucking ads. So I'm gonna be as dog shit as they were last night. I didn't move my microphone though, so it's kind of dog shit. <laughs> Um, let me just quickly, uh, just, just fix this. <clears throat> Don't worry about the ripping, it's perfectly normal when setting up the microphones. That's what, uh, that's what, uh, Grandpa used to teach. Yeah, when you set up a microphone, be sure to rip some shit. Yeah, yeah, good shit. And that speaker to me again. No, you're still a disappointment, Timmy, but um, you know, I just cut you out. Oh, well. Oh no, that's some self reflection. <laughs> Anywho, fuck. That's gonna be a prick anyway. It's your boy, back at it again, with another, um, YouTube, <laughs> with another Twitch stream, with another stream. Fucking really loving the Donkey Kong music at the moment. Just getting, getting all the ape. All the ape I can out of this. Let me check if the wife has said anything. No waifu. No waifu. So yeah, I fixed my ads as well, so they shouldn't be whatever. Be better now. Um, yeah, that won't be a shit. Hurt. Oh. Sorry, we're gonna get into it right away, start doing some shoot. You okay? Mm. Oh, that was my butt. <clears throat> Not finished what's in your mouth before you start talking, you know? Move the screen. Oh, 
my human children are asleep, which is great. <laughs> Didn't think that would uh that would happen so quickly tonight. Phenomenal. They just they just went to sleep. I'm very very pleased by that. <laughs> so <clears throat> let's recap what we did last night. Last night, so we're just gonna we're just gonna bring you around. I'm gonna start talking to the cameras rather than the screen. So last night, essentially, what we've done is that we've gone along here and oh god, my hands are like shit in this um, in this light. Uh, so attach this bit to make the start from the shoulder, which is up there, to the sleeve. Which is down here. Woo, that's the sleeve. That's the sleeveies. Um, so now we're gonna push this back and start doing this bottom part down down here. Alright, let's let's Oh god, fuck. Who taught I wasn't I was I'm I'm a savage. Savage Slay Ugh. Even I cringed at that one. And I'm a dad. I'm a mute cringe. Let's get out of the extreme fucking close up, because that's it's going to be sheep bread on the sleep, but I don't want to see what you uh what you got for schnozzle. I'm missing something. Uh. Uh. No, do I care? Fuck you. The box works. Work. The camera last night, I don't know, I actually did that. Thanks, I'm gonna go. We gotta go. Let's just look right directly at the light. It's fucking great. Good job, Henry. You got an amazing 20 out of 45. Oh no, please don't. Let's not show them my, my dreadful, dreadful desk. How sad that would be is. Okay. That's a nice little, really nice angle that we're at. We're ignoring that bit now. So, all the black fabric I have um, is now off cuts essentially. So, um, what that just means is that um, we're, not, we're not looking at this section here. I may have, I may have didn't oopsie doopsie and snipped. Oh no! Don't cut on top of your stuff, guys. You made mistakes, and I did. I made a mistake. So, <clears throat> just, I'm just gonna drop this and just, like, sit in there, cause I, so I can see things. Um, so what I'm gonna do is grab my, oh, because I still got a shit ton of it. Ooh, purples. Ah, purple. Them's the pants. Take it here for a moment. Rule are important. There he goes. Uh, yeah. Essentially, what we're going to do is we're going to pin a piece of black leftover material to this. That's going to sort of be the right size that I want, slash and or need, slash and need. And then we're just going to. It's really like the black. I can't see. It's just like covered. It just the black is black final is the worst because it just catches everything. So, I think that's, that's, that's a nice long piece, but I don't want to necessarily use a long piece straight away. I want to find, find a, you know, a fairly decent, like, square bit. So I'm not cutting out extra peculiar shapes. There we go. Nice. 
So, he's creased to the absolute fucking dickens. Not great. It's not great for us. It's not great for anyone. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to plant our Alma Press. Which is fucking the, one of the greatest things my, my mother in law ever loaned us. Wait. Oh, that's more white I brought a lot of white linen. Um, just because I've got to make an undershirt for it as well. But not white, sort of like off white. Now, you should always use this on a surface. Ugh. My support surface is not like the chair that I've got the camera on. distance away and I can actually look at you and it doesn't look weird when I'm actually talking to the camera. Um, over here is the arm press. Ta-da! It's a bit dusty, whatever. It does the job. Cool. Let's, uh, let's, let's iron our fabric nice and flat. Really, you can't get any more exciting than that. Iron the fabric. Ah, ah, yeah! Let's iron the fabric. I said, I said I couldn't remember for the life of me what the fuck that character from D&D was called. That water genesis. Just because I'm, I'm now focused on that stuff and I, I want to I bring it up again. Um, his name was Ottenheil. Ottenheil von Bossa. Actually, fuck that. No, you don't, you don't need to see my D&D characters. They're good characters. I, 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 do, I do quite like them. In fact, I, I potentially may bring them over into doing updates and stuff. Um, anyway, um... Only you can stop forest times. Uh, I need a... I need a plug for this boy. How do I do that plug? Actually, I don't know what I did that plug. Right here. And that... Only... Lines, he says. We're ignoring just the safety of all of this right here. Nope. Uh, and what we're going to do, let's grab our line here. X down. Should probably grab some more of my drink for this time. Just sticks the, the flannel. Flannel just locks it. Best thing ever for flannel. So, uh, actually, turn the boy on. Make sure we've actually set him to. Uh, you know what? Just go. We'll just swap it. Something like that. We won't. It won't be. So this is full of water. Essentially, you just control the spray. Legit. Right. 
swap the two. Yeah, let's leave the boss. It's not even it's not really a mist. It's gonna become the mist. Um, it should be a mist. It's not. The thing is not. Um I'm actually gonna go grab a mist up, I'll be back. I've actually got a misty bottle, and we're just going to spray it. It's only just a lightly damp, lightly go over the material. Normally the stuff is small. It's just to sort of get the major crease out of our material. Like, nothing crazy, nothing. It's not meant to be crazy hot or anything like that. It's just quite literally just to get these little bits of creases out of our kitchen. Nothing more, nothing less. Less, less. You know, talking all the way over here. Alright. <coughs> much all the way over here. I should just really not bump the microphone like I currently am. Oop. And you don't do that. That's why you set it to the lowest temperature, especially if you're good at forgetting things like you set it to the lowest temperature, so you, when you do forget it, and it does start screaming at you, it's not going to burn. You're not going to destroy the fabric. That's really all you need. I'm just running out of room. So the crease is going to come out naturally anyway. Don't have to stress it off. Pretty great little little machine. It makes ironing so much easier for me. I'm not very keen on hand ironing and stuff. So I just I never get it right. I actually I haven't burnt any clothes before yet. He says. There's still time. I don't know, Sport. I believe in you. Do you? Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna burn all the clothes. I'm starting with your suits. No. Please. Please, no. No, this is gonna shut you. It's a. It's actually a fairly light. Um. Yeah. So keep going, keep hiding. Gonna iron. All the time I'm gonna iron every single day. I Boom. Nice flat material. It's not creased or anything now. And now we can bring it over there and start pinning and cutting. Turn this off. Lift this lad up. Unplug it in here. And uh, fix my get fix my uh, pull. Fix my power box and shit. So like only you can stop Bobby's blood. Only you can stop Bobby's bodies. Thanks to make the day. You're welcome. I don't care. Um, we have birds that literally commit arson. Um, only they can stop us. They they want to stop us, Snoopy. I mean, you're not going to win this. Those birds, those birds stop us. 
They take fire from one spot and put it put it where pipe. They don't put the fire with the rest of the fire. They put the fire where there isn't fire. They just share the fire out. It's it's like they're, they're giving gifts. They're gifts. It's not. Especially from the prey they're trying to catch. Side, Always make sure they're off to the side somewhere for me. Just because. Ooh. You don't want to leave the material. It's like leaving your iron. You don't want to leave it. Leave the heat there. Going into something. You don't want to make sure it's, it's all safe. Don't burn any fucking stuff. You, you live through one house fire. You don't. You don't get to live through another. There's, there's, it's not like Spider-Man. Everybody, actually it is like Spider-Man. Everybody gets one. That's it. You don't get any more than that. Look, he's nice enough to give you one. Spider-Man, you burned down my house. Everybody gets one. I finally go. Screen over here so I can see who's chatting, who's talking. All that fun stuff. Game at the chair. Good chair out of the way. It's not gonna drop me the wall anymore. Okay, so, and I'm out of frame again. I need to, I need, I need my, I need my pretty, I need, I need to be pretty, and I need to be on screen. Uh, just gotta double check the message from my wife. Cool. So, <clears throat> ideally, I'm gonna be putting, using, sort of this section, I'm gonna use this, this natural edge here. I pin this edge to the to my raw and pin the raw edges together. This one's actually facing the straight edge. Haha, <laughs> this straight edge. Wow. Generation used to rip on people for us. Oh, don't do drugs. You don't smoke cigarettes. You don't drink alcohol. Oh my god, don't you fucking struggle. Oh, how we grow up. Now it's just like, oh man, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't feel like I don't feel like doing that stuff anymore. That's just yeah, no thanks, I'm good. Is that is is that illegal? <gasps> oh no! Hmm. <laughs> oh, delicious. Nice little, uh, nice little mix drink there. Triple sec, um, bourbon, and uh, a red liqueur of some form. It's a red liqueur of some form. Okay. With Mountain Dew. Uh, the the uh, soda stream Mountain Dew. Which is fucking actually really nice. It's <laughs> like, so, yeah, that sounds delicious. A bit does. Mix some shit together. Mm. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Not bad for a little sweet drink. We served at bar, no fucking way. Probably be kicked out. <laughs> You're not a bartender. Uh, 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 yes, but um, behind the bar, am I tending to it? Where's your bartender? I don't know, where is my bartender? Well, well, it looks like that's a you problem. I was filling a role for you. I feel like I deserve a reward. No, you don't. Oh, well, I've helped myself to a reward. What happened to my top shelf? That was the reward. Oi. Oi, babe.
Alkali, Alkali. Hibbity ho, hibbity hey. Putting this shit together. Woo hee. Hi, Hoberg. I'm just ordering the food. Okay. I'm strammeling. How was your tatal? It was good. So, I liked the one I got, but yeah. I'm a, a little annoyed only because it's very on brand for me and I wanted something a bit off brand. Oh, it's mushrooms. Yeah, Goddamn. Right? Yeah. Um, so, I wanted something a little bit like. Elsie, I got this really cool cherub. Mm hmm. Like the little cherub angel that's yeah. holding her head, so she's got like two heads. Yeah. That was cute. I like that one. Um, and there was one that was like a mouth with the tongue out, and mm. it had something on the tongue, but I don't remember what. Mm. Um, but yeah, I was probably going to go back in a couple of weeks and get another okay. one. Cool. I like the thrill of it, it makes me feel alive. So yeah, she's cute. I've got to take oh. it off anyway, that's the blue one. Nice, looks good. Yeah. Cool. I didn't even realise there were mushroom ones. I don't know what happened with my eyes, but I looked at the sheet like five times and didn't see a mushroom. Yeah, no, I didn't see a mushroom either. But they're cute. Reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. Looks good. It's very on brand for you. I know. As soon as I opened the thing, I was like, how very on brand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is... This is not a surprise at all. I was expecting surprises. There was not surprise. I got mine done second. I should have got mine done first though, because mine was like way quicker. Oh, but really? the ends took like an hour. Um, and mine like Just half an hour, yeah, twenty right. minutes. Well, it's a couple of rectangles and a triangle, so. Yeah, they've got Pokemon ones at Broken Arrow. Do they? I want to get that one done by um that I paid uh, Jordan yeah. for. Um, the one of the, um, Meowth in, like, the leather jacket smoking oh, yeah. a cigarette. <laughs> I gotta get him, like, a grease of Meowth. Um, I think that, I think can... that has to be my next one, though. Yeah, and then I'll get, um, Whipper Report. When your tax comes in, just book someone. Because you, they like to eat a pay at deposit. Yeah, yeah. You book a Velvet Alley. Yeah, I could. Just depends on who. Mm. I think they'll just see the design and then whoever wants it takes it. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I should put my tail down. Um, uh, Asta went down just phenomenally. He was like, very tired. He was very tired. He went to bed at 6 30. That's not going to be I know. In the morning. I know. I'm aware, but he was so tired. Mm. Um, Atlas gave him his medicine at 6 30, expecting him to just go to bed. Yeah. At 7 30. No, he came in like 6 45. Mm. And just came in and laid down. Yeah, he deserved it. And I was like, alright, just go lay down, mate, and I'll, um, I'll, if you're still awake, I'll, I'll come struggle with you. No, he was out of the night. He might do the whole water bottle, but to be fair, so. Um, can you just give him that? You mean? You mean? Yep. Love you. Good job, Dingle. Donna got a tattoo or some mushrooms. She went and did a blind pick. And it was like, so they show you all the ones that you that you can get, and then you just sort of like do a lucky dip. And uh bam. That's the tattoo you get. Or if you you pay like an extra fee to re-roll it, essentially. It's like gacha, except tattoos. It's 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 more it's actually more valuable than gacha because it's permanent. There's some inherent value there. Oh my god, a tattoo's NFTs. No. <laughs> I'm not doing that. It's almost like what, what NFTs really wanted to be. Well, uh, parading themselves as. So I'm pinning it the wrong way. It doesn't matter. I've pinned it enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this light over. <sighs> Gosh dang it. <sighs> like that. I should have pinned him more. That's fine. It's okay. I'm not gonna regret this. Giving myself plenty of extra. That's the main thing, is making sure you're giving yourself extra. Just more. Just want more. Just, I can't like I have to cut it Yeah. Yeah. 
much an easy way to do it would be to pin the white on top of the black. But it's actually a really easy way, and I don't know why I didn't do it like that. So you, you just gotta you just gotta let yourself think and talk yourself through these processes and see how you're going, see what you're doing, see what things are up and down and left and right and to the side and shake it, shake it. Oh yeah. Laying flat and always give yourself the extra. You want you want seam allowance. Now this top bit I'm gonna have to cut off at some point, so I'm just gonna slap like this. Come as you were, sir. Up on fabric. As I want you to be as a friend. As the trend goes on, no memory, yeah, memory, yeah. And I said, man, I don't even go, don't even know what you, what, what you're on about, bro. Keep my ear out for my din din. Need my din din. But. I feel like that might be it. Was that, was that the, um, how long did they say the food was going to be? Oh, okay, cool. I think I might have heard the, no, I think I might have heard somebody's car door. I'm gonna go grab my food just real quick. Give me a sec. Jib and jump it everywhere. Okay, so I, I made a I made a smart move and actually decided that I uh, know it's it's to pin the white onto the black and then just to, do I even have to pin it? No, I don't. I can just snip it. I'm gonna gonna go, gonna go blind. Get myself a bit of excess. That's right. You're not even lining up the the nice the nice edge with the with the raw edge. No, just snipping it blind, lads. Just fucking snipping it blind. Cause I can do that. Just like I'm left handed using right handed scissors. Oh man that sounds good. It's my favorite sound. Just a chonky. Damn, boy. Damn. Damn, boy. Damn. Right. Boom, boom. <laughs> A little bit of the drink break. Okay, that actually did sound like that. Yeah. Oh. 
forward. That's my driver pulling up. There goes one supper. <sighs> Disgusting. Okay, so I got my dinner, so um, we're gonna we're gonna sit here and uh, um, uh, I'm gonna eat my dinner while y'all are uh, just watching. Eat dinner. <laughs> hmm. So I'm just. Hmm. Rather than sitting here and watching me eat like eat like a slob. Um, let's like, I don't know. I got, uh, I got, I got Mickey D's. I got Mickey D's for Din Din's. Uh, triple cheeseburger and a chicken and cheese. And a chocolate sundae, of course. So, what we're going to do instead. See if. Can we do, can we watch, can we watch something? Am I, oh, do I have it? Okay, hang on, let's, let's go back to what the fuck, ugh. history, history, that one. Let's pause this one, let's go down, let's see if I got, any of the swordcraft stuff in here from should I oh that'd be weird ooh god burps
No, you're not GOG. Software, not. Program files, not. No. No. Bolt. 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 Ah, wait. No, where the fuck is it? It's not that. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay, cool. Let's put let's check my uh New McFlurry is amazing. I actually had the, um, the, the, like, the apple pie version of it. It's actually pretty good and good. I quite liked it, not gonna lie. Let's see if I got any Soulcraft, um, videos. I think this is the SS2. Oh, it's the SS2. I don't know the SD card. Yeah, this is the one. The 64 gig, let's see. Let's have a squeeze. Nope, that is a, that is a 3DS. Wow. Uh, what the fuck is my, is my, um, GoPro? Really beating my din dins right now. But now I'm like, oh, man, where's my GoPro? I need that shit. Oh, I know where it is. Hmm. Okay. Inside my box of troubles, I have something that causes me no troubles. That causes me great pleasure. Uh, old Soulcraft uh, videos. I don't know. When this was. Damn boy. Damn boy, that's sick. That's sick as fuck. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Uh, into, into, into. Yeah, it's into. Gonna be bang right in there. Let's see. Bam. Beating the speed trigger. Upside down, right side. <gasps> I almost just put my fucking hand in my goddamn McFlurry. McFlurry, goddamn not McFlurry, fucking. What the fuck it's called? Ba 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 I don't need to fix shit, eh, bros? You. Oh. Okay. What the fuck is that? Let's video. That's some corrupt ass fucking shit. <laughs> We're switching it. We're switching SD card, bros. That was real bad. That was actually fucking awful. That's pretty bad, actually. Oh, shit. Fuck, it actually might be corrupted. Oh, actually, no, it might just be because... I've been weird, but I'll still go. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, cool.
So, um, <clears throat> let's, let's, while I'm eating food, instead of me being like a chungus, oh, it's on the wrong fucking screen. Yeah. I actually don't know what's actually being, what's actually in this, or what's actually being like said and shit, so I'm going to put on my headphones while we're doing this at the same time so I can listen. Okay, cool. We're just gonna turn shit down. Because, uh... <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Let's, let's, let's see. So this is... So this is the fight starting. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, this is my cam, yeah. From a while ago. I straight up chest mounted this and I think that's a I think that's a uh a, a bad thing. Oh yeah, chess mounting I don't think is a good idea for my for my for my jet my cam. I think ape is every is 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 my form. So this is a chest height, let's remember. That would have been a head hit. Good thing I was wearing a helmet. This must have been our saga tonight. Oh no. <laughs> I'd like to be able to, like, mount this inside my helmet. I think I will. I've got it. I've got it, a way to mount it on my helmet, but it will drop down. And that cover is like the top of my fucking helmet. I remember that night it was a good fight. I think it was the night that actually we um we uh killed all the villagers and set them alight.
Ah, louco, fiz o louco, acho que deu. Turn that down. I feel like that was talking about something. <clears throat> Look, they weren't villagers. They weren't even people at that point. They uh, that they, they were definitely dead. <coughs> <coughs> Mutants really heretics aren't people. Let's 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 just agree on that one. I left my burger too long. Fuck me. Hands down the Western Patrice Burger I've had from McDonald's. Hold shoot, run, 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 run. Lorenzo. using people in the corner of the screen doing stuff. I think I'm explaining chest hits. Well, they start and end. <sighs> Gotta get that little jiggy going, apparently. I'm a fucking nerd. Really, we're just a we're just waiting on. Oh, well, where goes that one? All right, next one. Like, look at all this. That's bad. That's real bad. Okay. Did any fighting happen in this one? Okay, here we go. Oh, this must have been... Okay, this must have been, um, the, uh, Castilia's, uh, warband. Uh, Saga's Knight, then.
new players, and then Middenheim. Rats on the other side. The new I love I love seeing the fucking newbies icker. Yeah, right. I love I love seeing the fucking newbies just like go in and give it their fucking all oh, here we go. <sighs> Bailey doing his thing, just bang bang out of nowhere. Ah. Go it, good girl. My favorite kiss, Levite. There you go. You you heard it here first. I think it's because of the shoulders. Checking the camera, I definitely felt the bump on the camera. Who? Gosh, no, no, no. Lagushka's not my favorite Kislevite, it's Ikka. Edgar's hand down, hands down my favourite Kislevite. There's others in top five, but you know, I'm not gonna reveal that reveal that. Proactive shield work. Fucking trying to just keep on top of that pike. It's the main thing. Especially when they're coming up hard on you. You gotta just angle your fucking, your shield down. Like, the shield's like here, and you gotta angle it down and just push that boy out of the way. Oh, I did a head hit. So I took the knee. There you were! She is wall of kisless. <laughs> right? Yeah, I, I did a I did a head hit, so you know what I did? I took myself off the field and and took a knee. It hits if it's not in the if it's if it's against the rules and you just do the right thing, you're just just go sit down, do that thing. That's me taking off my arms. I must have been fuck. It was a, it would have been a hot fucking day. And then in the armor, and then in the um, the the um, the armor, the gamson, the helmet as well. I would have been absolutely fucking cocking it. Then you do the right thing and go self-report. <clears throat> Look for the marshal. That's me self-reporting. And that's that's the end of that one. Next. Uh, this one.
chat with some folk. Like conversation. I think this was a. This is one had the glass on this side of it because somebody smashed a fucking beer bottle. <coughs> oh, green Sigma shit, we're goblins. I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? All the shields now go in and engage the other shields, and I'm just gonna stand there. <laughs> it goes. I think it goes. It was fighting with the Castilians this this part. Ooh, nice cheeky arm shot. It's hard going from cigarette to orc. Man, I can't wait to get my new legs. I'm getting some real nice legs. What date was this taken? Um, a uh, very good question. Uh, oh my god, this was 2019. Apparently, this was the first of the first 2019. I don't believe that. Um, the this is this is all corrupted. I will actually have to check its actual metadata. Um, uh, I don't think it was 2019. It couldn't have been. It must have been this. It must have been, um... This year, because you guys only started coming down, like, this, like, this year. It was definitely a good couple of months ago. And you just, right now, you're stuck in like, <clears throat> nope, this would have been after Kriegs or Quest in April. Yeah, I think so. It had to have been. It definitely had to have been. Because, um, uh, Senna, S S Senna, 
Sienna, Senna, um, is down as well, uh, playing as the Ice Maiden. When did the boy... <laughs> I love it that you call him the... You guys call him the boy, it's great. <laughs> when did the boy have pink hair? It definitely would have been, um, after Kriegstor. It was sometime before Kriegstor and after Kriegstor. Um... Yeah. But definitely one of the last few times we would have seen Rob on the field as well, so... Um... Must have been... No, before. Just before... <laughs> hey, my arrows! <laughs> it would have been just before Kriegstor, because we didn't see Rob after Kriegstor. We saw him before Kriegstor. <laughs> It is the last one alive. <laughs> no, it <laughs> Man, wait. Ready? Look at Elbrak's fucking armor. Look at that. He's a tinny boy. He's a sweaty spaghetti. Just like me. <laughs> I've got more on my other hard drive, it's just I don't have uh, my other hard drive plugged in. Let's get back to sewing. Let's actually do the thing that I was, you know, that, that, that we're actually going to be doing. Oh! Alrighty. Chef's kiss. All right, we're just we're just aping again, yo. We're just opening up in here. Okay, let's let's actually get onto this and get rid of my Mac. Yeah, let's fuck it up. Box, put it up there for the moment. There you go, man. Alrighty. All the craft crunch. I know, right? I've only got a couple of weeks. We only got a couple of weeks until the Earth Night, and I have to get this. I have to get both these done, and the leg. And they quite literally have to be done. They actually have to be. They they've got to be done. There's there's no way around it. <laughs> I'm in trouble. Um. So this one we're gonna do differently, actually. Um. I'm actually going to use this as a pseudo cuff for this, so I actually will leave. Hmm, I won't actually use this as a pseudo cuff. Since this bit was not even, I'm going to sit this over that. Boom, put it right there. 
Nice. Let's go. So, we've got a couple of options. I can sew this on now. I mean, it's probably a good idea if I sew them on now. And then I can start trimming up and folding everything up and seeing what I want to do. Um... Actually, I've actually got a really good idea. So, we got straight lines coming down. How about we uh, do that, do some, like, have a section, like, uh, I think, like, here. This line here. Like, be an actual sewn, sewn bit. And then the rest just sort of, whoop, off of it, like, like, um, like, loose. I mean, they'll look pretty cool, like, uh, like, d d straight, then, like, then, like, um, then, like, uh, sort of, on the sleeve here, like, coming down like that. I reckon that'll look alright. Yeah. So what we'd then do, is that we would sew sides and this over, over the linen. And then, um, would hem this edge, and then sew this edge, hem this edge. Oh, uh, no. No, we won't hem that edge yet. We would cut the, the loops in. Mm. You know what is better? Actually, just doing the lip the them as strips i think it's i think that's going to be the best way to go about it is actually just doing them as strips so let's grab this and just fucking just start cutting our measure for it cool so now that we're going to do that we actually don't have to worry about that just yet so we're going to cut these long strips and they're all going to be hemmed up and then sewed onto the flat piece, and that flat piece is going to be sewed together. And hopefully... Now, these don't have to be even. Like, none of your... None of your, like, ribbons, let's say, have to be even. They just have to sort of be similar size. Just so they don't end up throwing the overall look. Um, like... Okay, there's one. One. Let's keep going. And look, the, my lines aren't going to be straight. So, so, so we're all going to chill the fuck out because the lines are never going to be straight. <laughs> Henry, you're not using something inherently straight to fucking cut these lines. Oh, actually, no, I do. Yes. You know what? My answer is I don't give a fuck. I don't care. Oops. That is a really bad straight line. That is not a straight line. <laughs> We're going to cut it this way. At least they're going to be thickish. 
That's alright. You can always break it up. Break it up! Ba -da -ba 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 I think my my fucking lines are straighter when I'm doing it fucking by eyeball. Oh my god, that's actually dreadful that my lines are straighter when I'm doing it eyeball versus like against something. Oh no! Wow, that's actually really bad. That's actually like a much straighter line. Uh oh. Oh no. Fine, you know what we'll do? Let's take this. Leave it to us. Yep, take the next one. Let's flatten it back out. Do the next step. Also, rollerblade cutters are amazing. Yeah, I like them, except uh, when I do a straight line, they always go -loo 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 on me. I'll, I'll do like a perfectly straight line, have it all lined up, have it all like pinned and perfect. The next minute, my, my straight line goes like. -loo 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 on me, and it's just like, what the fuck am I doing? Um, I do fairly alright just eyeballing, actually, which isn't bad. Uh, how many of these do I have to make? Well, this is one sleeve. So, um, I've got a whole nother sleeve to do. Then I've got to sew those sleeves into the vest bit, then I've got to do the last leg, and the, the sort of the, the socks for the leg, which is, yeah, great. And I'm, I'm tempted with the last leg to, um, fold the fabric in half and cut the straps. No, 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 I, I literally can't do that. If I do that, it's going to be worse. Like, it's actually going to be worse. It, it, it's going to, it sounds like it's going to be quicker, but, um, it's, it's actually going to be worse. Fabric just doesn't like me at the best of times. Cool. blade needs to be tighter. No, the blade is very tight on this. Like, it's just me, because I'm using right hand, I'm using right-handed scissors with a left hand. So. My other pair of scissors, my silver scissors, the blade definitely needs, the blades definitely need to come in tighter. It's not, it's, when, when it's like, you fold the fabric in half and cut it, it's not the actual tools that I'm using. It's, it's the tool that I am that uh, stops me from being actually, being able to cut that right. For some reason, I always have to make micro adjustments when I'm, when I'm actually like, following a line and like, cutting things when it's folded like that. And I always end up fucking up and making a crease somehow. It's just, it takes a little bit longer, but it's a little bit more easier for my brain 
to uh, just do it. Just do it like that. <laughs> Trust me, if Donna was in here, she'd be like, oh my god, what the fuck are you doing? It's so stupid. Fucking stop. Jesus Christ. You're not doing it right. Do it right. Fucking, fucking, hell, look how crooked that is, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, no, don't worry about it, man. It's fine. It's, it's, it's good. He, no, he's, he's good. Okay. So... Grab these. Let's take them over to the sewing machine. We're gonna have to re-thread our sewing machine, which is fine. It's just a sewing machine. They're not actually hard to, that hard to re-thread. Uh, can we please not do this? Come on, camera. Jeez, man. I trusted you. You have before broken my troops. For a second, you have. I am. Ugh. <sighs> Swoop this light up, bro. Shitty shag. Where the fuck is my thrag? There it is. Pink shrag. Bro, oh, man. Bobbins. Bobbins. Oh, actually, no. Okay, let's shut the bus. Bobbins live in here. This little spool of fabric. A spool of fabric. Spool of, spool of thread. They live in there. They're fun. Kind of. They can be fun. They're pretty cool. Okay. So, grab a black. See, I've got two bobbins on the run. Um, one black, one orange, so I don't actually have to, like, you know, spool one out. Just re-threading a problem is just, you know, it's extra time that you don't necessarily need to do, especially if you're using a couple of different colors at the same time, so it's just easier just to make sure you got a couple of extras going. Okay, so, got this down. You're going to see me thread this in one go. Ready? Oh, can I get you a dog? Yes, I can. Just do the cord. Probably as good as I'm gonna get you. Okay, ready? Thread in one go. Oh no. I know I bragged. I can do it. Should actually tie it in there. Never, I actually don't know the thread one handed. At this angle. Shit, I bragged. I bragged. It's done it. Hey. So. Go. <gasps> oh. I bragged. I bragged, and now, uh, and now, now I've gone and forsaken myself. <laughs> I did a, I did a big brag. Whoops, dude. Those I shouldn't have done. Done did that. Oh no, what, I have to go and not be modest. Okay, watch, now that I'm not like bragging, it's gonna thread straight away. Oh, come on, mate. Fuck's sake. Hey, there we go. Boom, thread. Lift your leg up, thread your thread through the foot, 
right to the back. Now, you grab your bobbin, check how much he's got on him. Yeah, you know, that's fine, we'll just spool him out. We're gonna have to spool him out anyway. Uh, so I stick my finger, so this is a little bit here. I stick my finger, so this has got the thread, and the thread's like over here. So I put my finger, so I put my finger up against the thread here. And then I pull it back this way, and it should, uh, and it has, going around, there's like a little, so you got like the, the edge, and then, so like the edge is like, from like this position, the edge is here. There's like this little hook, there's like this little hook, here, and you got to get the thread through this little, uh, just on this little hook, that loops, or, that loop, that loop around, so it actually helps feed it through. Um... Always a pain in the butt when you're first doing it, but in each machine you'll find its little nuances and its little, its little, its little kinks. Uh, oh, okay. Let me do the black. There we go. Over here. Let's see what we're going to do here. Make sure you're only grabbing one piece instead of two. It's accidentally sewing them together. <laughs> right. So this is what I was doing last time. So what I was doing is that I was grabbing the sides, like just barely, so that the foot will actually, so I could actually sit them on the foot. So fold this side, and then and then fold the next side. Oh, this is something I'm actually actively showing you all, and then fold this. Normally I'm not showing you like this. Normally it's I just grab the sides and then roll them in just a touch. And then grab this side. Essentially you're just making like a, a like like a like a ribbon. Go this side. And fold it in. And then, boom, you take the bottom, and you fold that over, the, you fold them on top of the two side folds you made. And you just sort of give yourself a bit of extra side folds to put her up. Right here. And you sort of hold them at the side folds. Put the foot down. I'm gonna put my foot down. And just sort of just make sure to just take it easy. Third pass, second pass, third pass, done. Boom. Oh, that was guts. Alright, so it looks like looks like that. Then, what you do, is you then get, I think you can really see, it's a bit hard to see, you get the rest of it, you just fold it back. And so you decide, okay cool, I'm going to go on this side now. First overlocking, you know, first overlocking your first bobbin is always going to have that weird like couple of strings that have no place being like stuck in the fucking bobbin but it always will be a pain in the dick when it is so I'm gonna switch the sewing machine I'm sorry but it needs to it needs to be done and I have long for um for, for, for her uh, uh Turning my back on me. No, I could. I could never. Now, I'm just not pinning anything, and that's just everybody's just gonna be. Every, every, a lot of, you know, a lot of people are gonna be like, hey, dude, you should pin, pin that shit, pin, pin, please. And I'm like, no. Like attention, get that fucking line going. 
Keep that fold full. Make sure it's a little bit flatter. Fucking free ball that shit. Make sure you make sure your 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 hem is not wide. You want it thin. Thin, thin. Just enough that the thread's getting both. What the fuck is happening? There we go. Elastic. Some sewing machines come with lights on them. This one, for some reason, doesn't have a light on it. Fuck. That hurts. Nice edge, but it didn't just curve wildly. Well, ignore it, don't worry about it. You're not gonna notice it. No one's gonna notice. Nobody knows. Oh my god, they all know. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. They're all gonna know. Hey, don't do this, Henry. I'm gonna do it. Cool. This gives you a bit of an action shot. stuck underneath this fucking sewing desk. We kept going. She just kept sewing. Can we some skinny bits to bit slime? Art is, uh... Finding meaning in imperfection. Uh, not perfection. You know what? No. Fucking just roll with it, yo. I should start like labeling these like trigger warning as so bad. <laughs> oh my god! What a fucking dead joke! Oh, so bad. I so. So bad. What are you doing? Oh, so bad. Hey, Ben, not so bad.
button that out. Just so everybody can see. Just button that out. There's no perspective weirdness there. That's exactly what it looks like. Why did I do that? Why did I so bitch? Actually, that's smart. Why did I let... Why would I just fucking sew one bit and then start sewing edges? Why don't I just sew either edge? Fuck it. Oh my god, I did something smart by mistake. <laughs> what am I creating? Fucking paracetamol? It's not about the, the the edge hemming, it's about the hemming the hemming edge. So uh th this is fairly thick. And then I don't know how I can like physically show you all. So it looks like it looks like a perspective thing, but like nah. This is thin, this is wide. Call me Ed. Call, <laughs> Call me Hemingway. This Hemingway way is back. <laughs> oh no. Oh, you fucking troll. What are you doing, you fucking piece of shit machine? Huh? Why would you shoot off in that direction? What's wrong with you? The monkeys all say boo. In the long name, you, the cows go zing. Oh, the funky place to the long. Call me Edge Hemingway. Because I'm neither of those things. Yes, I just discovered 
Throw it on the floor. Uh, my, I'll pick it up. Yeah. Oh, this went. Oh man, that's an even better fucking like bad name. Call me Edge Hemingway because I edge my hems my way. Picture of cringe. Too much cringe. It's wearing off. It's happening. I'm losing it again. The biscuits, dance in biscuits, funds and things and stuff. I am overheating in my fucking woolly lamb boy. It's not real wool or lamb. It's just warm enough though. Not the meds, right? There's like a there's like a period of it. It's like it's like cats every night at ten o'clock. Oh wow, it's actually almost ten o'clock. It is like my feral cat hour. So you know, cats at a certain night time, a certain time of night, they just just bang it. Yeah, it's the same. Oh man. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Explain to me what the fuck just happened here. Hmm? Cow? Guy? Friend? I have to just re-thread you completely? Huh? Absolute fucking state. The state of you, mate. You should be ashamed of yourself here. Today, 
threaded it in one shot. You all saw it. You all know. You all know. You all know it's true. I ain't fibbing to you. Wahai. Wahai. Just a quick second to it, huh? Same here, right? It's like 10 o'clock is like the feral pet hour. And it's also like the feral, like, Excuse me, I uh, I have to go. I have to go aggressively like meow at the fucking fridge or some shit like that for the next half hour, or just like, or just like skitter around the fucking house. <gasps> Jeez, your stuff. Your thing's gonna do. Suddenly, all the motivation comes at ten o'clock at night. I actually used to. Before I was uh. Medicated for ADHD. Before I even realized I potentially had ADHD, and it was when I was living in my own. Oh, you fucking dog! Oh, bunch there. Fucking do it, mate. I don't shit. Drop it. Um. Fuck, I hate this fight. Anyway. Um. Uh. I used to go on like really late night like skateboard rides. I used to love. Nighttime downhill skateboarding. That's this that's my favorite. Like not downhill, but like speed skateboarding. Like yes. My my definition of it was like get the cheapest, shittiest fucking skateboard you can, and let's just see how fucking how, how hard you can just like just get this thing to go. How 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 fast? 10 p.m. 1 a.m. Right? Same. My brain's just like, yeah, okay, let's let's fucking do everything now. Now is the perfect time. It's like now or never. It's like when I'm at my most productive, I'm doing all, like, all my best work during that time. Bros. Same. <laughs> the problem is, is that my body goes, no, no, you gotta keep going until you're done. And, I, and then I just don't know where to shut off. It got real bad to the point before I was medicated that uh, I physically couldn't sleep. I couldn't sleep until I was physically and mentally exhausted. Not more so physically the older I got, but more so like, um, like, mentally exhausted. Like, staying awake was fine. Ooh, no problem. Now, I'm on meds and it's just like, I'm sitting there over night time and I, like, falling asleep at the fucking desk and shit. Not anymore. Uh oh. Like, now I am, but like, before I was medicated, it's like, no, 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 bro. Uh, you're gonna stay up all night, and uh, you can pull all nighters, like, way late into your 20s. Like, that question I against mean, exactly. Exactly. Question I mean, especially like night ones, the shit you can get up to then. Like, fuck it, Everybody's like. Top thread. Came on, came out. About. Right as I started. 
Right as I fucking started. God damn, top thread, what the fuck is wrong with you all? In Sudenberg, you can just do, like, a lot more late-night quest shit. Like, my my fondest memories of 2019 quest was, like, getting absolutely fucking shit-faced with Rusky in the Shisha Den. It was Cosmari, uh, I think before you started quest. Um, before you started Soulcraft. Um, but, uh, Rusky was there in 2019 anyway. Um, like, that's some of my fondest memories at, at like, Sudenberg quest. It was just getting absolutely fucking shit-faced with Magic Authority with Warpstone. They had like a uh, like a Warpstone whip and everything like that. Like all glow, all the middle of the night, pitch fucking black. Um, there's just like um, the the lights, the fairy lights, glowing everything up and shit. And uh, we're sitting in the Shisha Den. The Shisha Den curtains are just sort of like half quarter open. We just see like glowing green start running past people, screaming and fighting and so and you know nice and people are like shields and fighting shit and fucking i see this just i just see this fucking tangle of like green glowing like sh like what looks like s like s like sharp whip sort of thing like just being twirled around on the ground and like flicking back and forth like obviously they were back and back and there was nothing dangerous that but um but me and rusk me me and rusky are like pissed out of the rounds about and Rusky's like, oh yeah, and we're just talking shit, and a bang, drink knocks over. I'm like, oh, you've knocked over my drink. So I picked it back up, filled it up, and I've taken the swig and gone. It's a good thing we're too shit faced to go deal with that, because that's like that looks like a mess. We, I think, between the two of us, we smashed down three bottles of Maxwell's Mead. Like, in that, in that night. Like, Rusky was my bump into, like, just get shit-faced with. Um, somehow, it would just happen. It was like, Rusky, yeah, how are you good? Oh, I like milk, let's, oh, yeah, you, what are you doing? Oh, I'm doing, yeah, I'm good, at, yeah, we can go drink. And then suddenly, we're, we're in, we're, we're somewhere drinking. And fucking, <laughs> and I wake up, I wake up in the morning, I'm, like, hungover as fuck. It's, like, the most hungover I've been in a very long time. Like, I'm like, oh my fucking god, I'm so fucking drunk right now. And then all I'm getting is news. Just fucking, just news of just like, the magic authority has is, is closed, it has to be cleansed, there's just fucking, there's green shit everywhere, like, they're, they're on the hunt for any stone, like, anybody who got, um, uh, made contact with it, had to get, like, limbs and shit cut off and, like, killed. Like, people were being sent to the graveyard in droves because of it. I'm just like, I was in the fucking shit shit just pissed out of my brains, man. I just, I don't, I don't need to, I, I, I don't need any of that. In fact, I don't even remember half of that. It was, a, it was actually a really great night. It was one of those things where it's like, it's such an in-character, like, thing to be, Pit, to be absolutely piss blind drunk, not even giving it a second fucking thought, um, not even giving what's going on outside a second fucking thought, and just going, yeah, I'm too drunk for this. I don't, I don't even get the art of get involved. And waking up in the morning and being like, oh no, I shouldn't have been drunk. I, I should have been actually getting involved because uh, a lot of bad shit just happened. <laughs> it would be like, it, it was sort of in the same category as like it would be like um being being in a tavern as the night game as the creek as a creek store night game was going on like and just seeing it from inside the tavern just being like you know what no i uh i kind of don't i kind of 
just happy I'm in here. I think that's. I think that. I think I'm good. Just you know. <laughs> he was great. Fucking Rusky. Oh my god. Rusky made like the most fucking money at that quest. It's like, I, I was. He's like, I was rich. I got a lot of money. I'm just like, damn. Rusky, oh, actually, I think, canonically, Rusky, so, when Maddie left, um, not left, but when Maddie um, stopped coming to Swordcraft, I think for just, like, I think it was a little bit of health reasons and stuff like that, um, he's like, oh, can, uh, can Rusky come back to Kriegstor? Because, you know, he's, uh, he's a, he's a Kizilvite male wizard. He was off duty. <laughs> Um, and so, like, technically, he should still be, like, floating around Kriegsdor, just, like, in, in universe, he should be, like, floating around Kriegsdor telling stories and shit like that. It's, it's kind of nice for his character. I kind of, I kind of really like that that's, that's something that we all agree to. Oh, I did. I, I did watch the, uh, Night Games from the Castle Walls. Oh, so you're watching it from a, from a couple of stories up, uh, just... Just watching, uh, watching, watching us fight. Yeah, essentially, yeah. I'm too pissed to. I'm, I'm, I'm way too shit faced to join in. Um, but this seems very serious, and I should probably be helping. But no, I'm, I'm very, very drunk. <laughs> Sudenberg's great like that, especially the. I did my best politics at Sudenberg of a night time, because you can do, you can sort of, you know, it's easier to get into meetings and stuff like that with people of a night time. Because all the day stuff is done, so what else are you going to do? Oh, I'm going to fucking chat to people and uh, pull a ticket the fuck up. Shit face, but watching the events of I wasn't shit face, but watching the events unfold. Fair, understandable. My God, all the night meetings, right? Just everything going on in the night time. It just, it just fucking happens, and it's just everybody's catching up onto like on like the fucking day events. We need. We need to have a char uh, a chat in character. What have you done? <laughs> what things have gone on that's, that I should know about? I'm excited. I like in character chats. Ah, left milk. Uh, I have some. I have. To, I. Uh, I would like to talk. Ah, yes, this is my favorite type of talk. You're going to tell me something, and uh, uh, it, it's it's going to be one of two things. Uh, it, it either depends on it, uh, the the rest of the information depends on my reaction, or uh, it's something that I, I, I pressingly need to know to uh, further to further some things in uh, in 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 common goals.
How good? I have you kissed Vites. I have you kissed little Vites uh, down to a down to a fucking science. I'm glad. That's always great, absolutely, man. <laughs> Look, nobody's topped, um, so we broke, uh, Kriegstor's circle of power. Nobody's topped that one so far. Nobody's topped that one so far. Oh, you what? Sorry. <laughs> Yes, I do. I do, absolutely. I absolutely have you kiss the lights down to a, down to a fucking science. My first character was a, was a, was, was Kizlo. Uh, I was actually going to be, I was actually going to play, if the cockles didn't form, I was actually going to be a Kizlobite. I was going to be like a mad fucking red mage sort of deal. In the previous setting, but didn't, didn't have panic through, so obviously the cockles went forward. Um, He's lives down to a science. Mwah. Easy. This easy. Not not like easy as in like easy to bend and, and, and manipulate and things like that. It's just like I I know what to expect is I know what to expect what to expect from Kislevites. What what I expect from Kislevites is um is shenanigans. And the shenanigans are always going to be either something that's really fucking fun in character, or it's like this is the fucking this is some bonkers ass shit and uh I, um, out of character, I'm like, fuck yes, this is great. In character, I'm like, there's some repercussions uh, if we don't fix this, so let's try and fix this. Kislev is great, they've got shenanigans. It's 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 kind of a it, I mean, I I sort of just had a little bit of thought, but uh, no, it's a little presumptuous for for Anna to think uh, um, uh, her and Latmiok's uh, uh goals align. Um, Latmiok doesn't know what goals Anna has. Like, what's uh. I'm I'm excited. I'm excited for a, I'm excited for this. This this is gonna be great. They're going to be enlightening. It's like... <laughs> it's... It, it's like when Lagushka, like, runs up... It's like, runs up to you like, Oh my god! Oh my god, I need to tell you something! This needs to... This needs to be said right now, because... It's... It is... It is life and death! It's very serious! <laughs> He's been like, it's like, look, it's like, it's like, you're in, you're going through quest in the middle of quest and suddenly Lagushki is just fucking beelining it for you in the middle of fucking, from like the other side of town straight to you, spots you, oh, oh, ah, I need to tell you something. 
<laughs> They're always my favorite. They're always my favorite chats. Oh, oh let me okay, I don't know, but maybe. I think Anastasia is going to have a bit of a, a bit of an enlightening experience uh, at Super Mario. He's just got the little, little hands waving around. I think that was the last. I think I just got the last of the bobbin out of that one. Dang, that's pretty good. Cool. Time to rethread a bob. Oh no, come back. Actually, where did you go there? You went. No, it's it's. I reckon you're gonna have it at the right time at Superberg. It's just gonna be. It's gonna be. Uh. It's gonna be actually. It, it, it's gonna be interesting. Uh, I think. Uh, I think a whole new world of uh of, of playing Anastasia will probably probably open up to you. Uh. Especially if you.
trust me, we'll get you into that. We'll, 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 uh, we'll get you into some shit. We'll get you, we'll, 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 uh, we'll, we'll get you involved in, uh, in, 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 uh, in shenanigans. You, there'll, be, there'll be shenanigans coming out of the wazoo. Oh, I, I heard about Boris getting killed. Um, uh, at our last town meeting. Uh, so my, my, my excuse for not being there in character is that I was coming back from, I was on my way back from Sudenberg, uh, helping the conclave set up a little bit more, sort of deal. Um... To, uh, just to make it a little bit, a little bit, uh, a little bit interesting, I, I had a, I had a chat with English today. He filled me in about Yeah, that was eventful. I, uh, I heard, I heard that, uh, I heard that Johan was, uh, uh, moved with such speed, uh, upon English's regaling, I was like, Does the Bretonian have magic? Cause that, that sounds like a feat of fucking, a feat of fucking magecraft. He's like, no, 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 you, uh, it was, it was just very fast. And I was like, Fuck Johan. Damn, what do you got? Fucking horse for feet? You got them tiny Bretonian slip you got them tiny horse Bretonian slippers on or some shit? Poor oh, Lady Castilia, so naive. Why the fuck would you trust Bor why the fuck would you trust Boris with with something like that? Even like before knowing, so he did. He did well considering everything, right? I can't believe how quickly the town turned off, though. Like, they were just like, "No, nah, we're not going to even entertain the idea of um." of a, a trial or anything like that, or we think we just, we're just gonna, um, we're just gonna, like, straight up turn on that, we're just gonna, right away, 100%, bang, we're just gonna fucking shit up. We're gonna execute this guy, like,
And there was a trial. There was a trial, but I switched. There was a trial by I switched land. Not good. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I heard. Uh, so what English told me was uh essentially um. Uh, Vasily put him down. So Kislev killing Kislev. Done Kislev way, you know. I mean, it's uh, it's pretty, it's pretty uh, it's pretty, 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 uh, pretty good that it was done that way. Um, yeah, poor Vasily. Poor boy. Um, I don't, I don't, I, I don't envy him. In fact, I had to stand by and watch uh, watch the priest of war kill one of my own. <laughs> that was there was some confliction there. I did have a little bit of sat satisfaction seeing uh, seeing um, wish to shoot die and then get resurrected. Like, okay, yeah, that's a little bit cathartic watching his head roll. But then I'm like, ah, I kind of feel bad. Then hunt. Then uh, actually end up being like, yo, um, uh, Sigma presented me with a miracle. Um. Can my friend come back to life, please? We're just like... Oh. So, you know, a little bit of confliction there. I don't, I don't know how much I appreciate how uh, my friends get murdered, but, uh... At least I could, at least I emphasize, emphasize good concern. I figured that was true. That's what happens when you steal from the priest of more. Quite literally, the answer is just you don't. You don't do that. It's that's dumb. That is the sound of um, the final song in Donkey Kong Country 2. That is uh, pulling up this boy, pull this boy up over the half. Oh, that's Donkey Kong Country 3. Damn.
Just some fucking real thumping beats. Just some, just some, just some fucking sweet ass beats, boy. Just some fucking sweet beats, dude. Just some fucking radical things. Zero uh, GX and AX. Oh no, I can't. Oh no, I can't. Audio jungle, audio jungle, audio jungle. Some Sanic music now. Some Sanic CD music. On the Philips CDI! To the thing and then sew it on. I reckon by 12 o'clock I'll be done that, uh, the laying out of that sleeve, and I'll just maybe uh, see how I go.
Just like conversations today, just like during work and shit like that about Swordcraft with um with Eric and stuff. Just really like literally just like could be in like the Swordcraft like getting shit ready and shit and stuff like that. Just like just like getting these pipe quests, getting pipe and just like a little bit of intrigue and stuff like that, like just like this doing. scenarios and stuff like that and like planning out these little plots and stuff like that in your own head and be like yeah that work or that go or how can i get how can i put how can i make x and y you know go to go a little bit more towards z sort of deal like i'm i really like i really i really really enjoy doing the um the change perspective um i really like sort of like like stringing out the web and just sort of thinking thinking like how everything is gonna like possibilities of like where shit is gonna happen and stuff like that Only, uh, eight. It's fun to think about. And, um, oh, it's just so much better on my here. Um, and, and B, uh, it's like, it's hard to hear while I'm sewing, sorry. I like, um, I like thinking about all those little, like, all these little, like, um, like planning and plotting out, like, little, um, little, like, what if scenarios of, like, stuff that's, like, reasonably happening at Swordcraft. Like, um, stuff that's, like, you know, for, for quest and like think about like what people's plays and what people's moves are gonna be and like how the how the how each sort of you know faction is gonna move their pieces around. I like playing at that web. Not even like money wise, just like scenario wise, like figuring how I can play into people's like movements and like um, how I can play around their, you know, everybody's playing an individual game of chess. So like, it's like, all right, cool. Then how can I, how can I make that to my advantage sort of deal? Like running those little like what if scenarios in your head, they're lots of fun to do. I like doing it. And, um, No pre-planning before events, just improvising so much. Damn, man. No, I'm like, I, 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 it's, it's like, it's like, I'm running calculations per minute. Like, every fucking new bit of information, I'm re, I'm resetting all the calculations, just going over again. It's like, right, right, okay, what do I do next for this? Like, what's our next move with that new information? How does that affect this? And like, like, it's, 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 I'm a very tactical player. I kind of learn a lot from that. I, I think you've got to, you've got to be like, you got to be in that mindset to do it. Cause it's like, it's something where it's like, I, you know, it's like, it's like getting into the accent, like for, it's like slipping back into your accent after not doing it for a while. You've got to like build yourself back into it. Um, uh, like I think, I think it's something that, um, that is, that is, 
it's it's easy to learn by observing, but it's not easy to learn by being taught. You know what I mean? Fucking come along. Like, um, like, I would I would say spot light, light milk throughout the fucking day and be like, oh, what you doing, light milk? Oh, I've got a thing and this and a thing and that. And have you heard anything? Do you want to come along? Just yeah, just fucking tag along at some point. And, uh, just ask a question off and to take along. Yeah, sure, fucking come. Alright, here we go. Go, bro. Come on. Come on, you're welcome. Richard. Rebel cat. Cat, get it. Thank you. I'm so excited for Superbird. I actually was really glad that I, did, I wasn't, um, when I first came to Sudberg 2019. <coughs> oh, sorry. Just fucking heave and hoe in my guts or some shit like that. I don't know why. Um, and, um, and I just dropped chatting. Chad, what are you doing that for, man? Why, why, why are you falling down? Come on. Get a hold of yourself. I mean, I'm not, I'm not really feeling this mix. Wait, ooh, Chaotix. And, uh, nah, man, I'm not feeling it either. <laughs> oh, actually, the Sonic R soundtrack's pretty good. Sometimes away.
Locking myself out of frame again. Can you feel the sunshine? Riding up your day. Can you hear the sunshine? Run away. I put in my pins. Over there! Yeah. He left. I've been a while. How are you? Hey, Dark Raven. How's things, my dude? Pretty good. I've, I've, I've been pretty good. I'm just I'm just making some stuff for for my for my lab. Just just sewing sewing some things. Talking talking lap. Having a having a having having a good old time. <laughs> oh God! How have you been? I'm making land schneck. It's a uh, German mercenary. Um. Uh. What do I? How do I? What do I? How do I? What do I? How do I explain it again? It's like 14th, 15th century German. Um, uh, like mercenary, like clothing, um, like very flamboyant, very uh, very um, cool. Is 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 the word I would use? Um. It's, it's pretty cool. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. Feel the sunshine riding off your day. Yeah, it is pretty super cool. It, it, it's it kind of cool, you know? I, 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 I kind of think it's kind of cool. Uh, it's taken me a good, a good while, um, yeah, uh, previous stream, you'll... That's so bad! It's, it's fine, we're gonna ignore it, <laughs> um... Previous stream, I showed off, um, I think the VODs there, I showed off what I've accomplished so far. So far. But, um, just a bit of a quick recap, I'll, I'll, I'll show you, I've got, I've got them in arms for each. I've done some... Some parts, which all these have been pleated down to the bottom. So, uh, yep, and they're two different colours. I haven't done this last leg. I've got another leg to do. Um, I've done the the vest part of the um. Mother is that. In the city, no, can't just survive. You know, to keep the dream alive. Then I've done uh, this, which is the 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 vest, and then I did that. So they're all individual strips um, that have been uh, intercrossed and then sewn all around the edges and then sewn together into this with the linings. Um, this isn't completely done yet, and uh, my the event for this is coming up in like three weeks. So I'm gonna get it. I gotta get it all done. Um, I mean, which is gonna be fun. I'm excited. I'm excited for the event. The event's gonna be awesome. It's just getting my fancy kit done. Cause I don't want to wear like the same fancy kit. Um, it's a big undertaking. It's actually not that hard to do. Um, you just gotta sit down and give yourself some time to actually figure it out. It's something where if you don't have time to do it, you're gonna have a bad time trying to like rush it 
It's definitely something you can't rush. If you rush it, you're in for a bad time. <laughs> you're in for a bad time? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm I'm so excited. I'm I'm uh, I can't wait for it to um be all done. Got to survive. Got to keep me dream alive. And essentially, it's it's all made for um uh, like strips of stuff. So like uh, the base layer is always going to be your linen. So this is a sleeve. Um. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna be very excited. Today. I'm gonna show it off. I think I might just make like a video, like a composition video of all the, like the, the streams I've been doing of putting it together. I've only done maybe two, three streams of putting it together. Um, and uh, um, I, uh, I'm gonna do like a. I think I'm gonna actually do a video at the uh, once it's done and be like, it's fucking finished. Um, but um. Yeah, it's gonna look really good once it's finished. It's, I, it's, all things considered, it's actually not hard to make Landschneck. It's, it's like just essentially making the strips of material, laying them out in a design, and that's that's like the most complicated part is just making sure that your sizing and your fit is right. The the pants are gonna be the hardest out of everything to get right because the pants and making pants is shit. Wear it for stream. I I actually will. Oh my god! Moderately chill. Just raided the cult with 14 viewers. Defend the space worm. Spend, defend the. Sp it's meant to be space worms merchandise. What are we working on tonight? Landschneck. Hi guys. Thank you for the fucking raid. Oh my god. That's that's so fucking nice of you, my dude. Holy shit. <laughs> Thanks guys. All right. Since there's like 14 people, let me uh, uh, like. This is this is fucking cray cray. I don't think I've ever had this many viewers all at once. Um. Okay. Um. Wow. All right. Um. Hi. Hi. Thanks. Thanks for thanks for coming and joining. Raid. 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 <laughs> okay. So um. Let's let's uh let's let's reposition this camera and uh, let's just start explaining to y'all uh, what I've done then. Um. Sorry. Ah, man, thank you for the raid, I really appreciate it. So, we're making Lanchneck. It really is a Shadow Legend, right? <laughs> um, so, essentially, Lanchneck is a uh, European uh, type of uh, 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 clothing that they wore to um, make themselves seem fucking awesome. I'm seeing what the fuck is banging in the door. I can tell my animals. Can you just stop it? Films. The both of them. <laughs> a lot of them. Alright, let's, 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 uh, let's fix you guys up. So you all can see a bit nicer. Oh, you, you might fall. I don't, I don't, I don't really, I don't really pay Ooh, we're on a slant. Cool. Um, so essentially land check is... Um... So, like, Lanschneck is a 14th century style of clothing, um, primarily worn by, like, Swiss mercenaries. Um, I'm making mine by hand, of course, as all should. Uh, this is the best. Uh, this is the one that's got the most amount of stuff done to it. Um, so, this is the back of it. These are all individual pieces of thingo. Um, front, 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 front. Uh, with the in layer of like lining white. So you know what? Fuck it, I'm gonna put on the pants. We're, we're gonna we're gonna put on the pants, y'all. I don't actually think I've put on the pants with something underneath because they're actually meant to be like a tighter fit. It is actually turning out really it actually is coming together really nicely. I'm actually really pleased how it's actually come together. Um 
hope they fit when I've got pants on underneath. Normally I uh, normally I'm put, only put them on when I've got um, uh, like tights or something on. Color design, family heraldry. No, it's um, what it is. It's uh, I do a Warhammer Fantasy laugh, and I um, am the warband leader of an Imperial warband called the Order of the Black Cockroach. So I'm a warrior priest of Sigma. Um, normally decked out in like red and white kit. These are these are the, the pants. They're obviously meant to sit higher, and uh, you get a bit of them is meant to be. So obviously one leg is done, but it doesn't help that I'm wearing black. It is hidden breast pocket. There is, there is no booby pockets, unfortunately. So like yeah, uh, this took a long time to pleat together. I actually did this the hard way by actually sewing together all the um, sewing together all the layers and then cutting it. Um, uh, I purchased my, um, my copy of the pattern from, um, Reconstructing History. They've got, they tell you everything in it. It's like, mine's a PDF, mine's a printable PDF version. Yeah. Well, how many pages? Like, I think... It's a uh, R502. If you're going to have a look at, if you're going to buy one, buy the pattern. Um, I think altogether you're looking at maybe 14, 17 pages. So yeah, um, there's going to be the what I'm working on now is the arm. So uh, for for show and tell, uh, the arm is typically obviously not. Let me quickly pin together the arm so you all can see. I'm I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna since 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 it was so kindly rated, I'm just gonna just gonna do a little bit of show and tell. Why not? So, you know, you all can see my, my conceptualization of what I'm doing and you know it's it's nice for me to actually be able to see what I'm doing as well. Um seeing if it actually then will look nice. <laughs> um Yeah, give me two seconds, let me just quickly pin this together. Pin. Pin. Like the sleeve has taken me a couple of nights. Um, uh, it's it's really worth the amount of time and effort you're putting into it. Um, just because like Lanschneck historically was like these guys, these mercenaries were like the top of the top. Like you, 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 when you were purchasing Lanschnecks, you were getting really good, good fighters um, that had a coat of that had a fairly uh, what uh, what's called a what's called the, I think it's I'm gonna butcher it. It's it's Yogamind the Prin it's the the Yogamind the Princept, and they are a um, they are it is a um, like a community. It's called the Community Principle. It's translated to the community principle. So one la one person amongst the company will speak for the, for the whole company, and they will um, redeemed hydrate. Thank you. I actually do need a hydrate. Um, I actually don't. Oh, I do have water. Haha, I got water. Thank you. I actually need um hydrate. You know, what? we're gonna pin this to the best. So. Um, yeah, so one Lanschneck would speak for the whole group, um, and then they would carry out that, that mission, or that, you know, that, that mission based off of what their, what the orders were given to them, blah, 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 all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, just pin this all in. Essentially, this is like towards the end step um, that I'm getting to. Um, so, you know, we're, we're almost there. We're almost there, and I'm, I'm 
really excited about how it's coming together. Um, this is actually probably a step that I should have done. Um, that I, I should do anyway. So, um, thank you for forcing my hand, guys. Uh, I, I, I appreciate that. I'm gonna get stabbed in my fucking arm by getting it this way, but I don't care! Trust me, it's 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 worth the wait. Hand status equals hand status equals force. I know, right? <laughs> it's 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 not even like that. It's like it's more along the lines of like. Um, I've, I've got to get up my house and do it anyway, so um, it's a it's a good reason to. So, typically this would be bound around the wrist. So it's obviously not lined up right. This would be uh, tied around the wrist. And these would be obviously these are going to be looped a bit differently um, because actually they would they would be like that. They would. Go, This is that we get pinned actually to here. So all these bits will actually be in through here. And pinned like fork. Fork, 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 fork. Pinned like that, and there's gonna be obviously more of those. And so uh, when the lens net comes together, this the you know the the these have actually dropped a fair bit, but uh, normally these are hoisted up to about here, to your actual true waist, your actual waist waist, and then this is, actually it's actually going to come together quite nicely, I reckon. Um, this is, the fit is just going to have, it needs to get readjusted as I'm going, as I'm going along. Uh, no titty pockets, unfortunately, but um, yeah, so, so essentially, um, it's actually coming together pretty nicely. I'm actually quite, I'm actually quite pleased overall. Um, yeah, I'm actually seeing the sleeve attached to it actually really, really changes, changes it. Like I feel like you know if I, if I pull out my long sword now, it's, it's coming undone, but that's alright. Get it. If I pull out. If I pull out the long sword now, like. You know, standing like this, I actually, you know, stay up and stay pinned. You know, it's like, oh, there's an actual, it's an actual, like, it's actually like Lance Neck shit. It's, um, I'm excited, like, you know. I'm excited for actually, to actually fight this. It's gonna be cool. Um, yeah, so, um, thanks for, uh, forcing my hand and making me put it together. Um, because this is... Kind of, this is kind of great. <laughs> a great little um, sort of visualization that what I'm doing isn't crazy, and what I'm doing is uh, actually it's actually going to work out. You know, you run your little doubts every now and then. You're like, oh man, what's that? Casually keeps a sword in in the closet. You think there's just one? There'd be just. just Not just one sword. Okay? I have my warrior priest hammer. I have my hammer. I have my hammer. So, got a little ram's head there. You can't kill this. He's my little boy. He just 
eight shields and flicks up in some shields and bam bam. So he's he's kinda cool. Um then This is this is more there's so much more. So uh we actually because we have so many because a warband is like a group of people. So this is a uh this is a sword staff. You know. It's it's good for just I mean it's like a helmet. But it's you know more designed for slashy and less look for that type. So sword staff. I'm about 177, so it's like what? Just a bit, so about 180, you know, decent size. Quarter staff. Got it's got the jewel grips, so it's a bit more. It's a bit more. Man, where do men like you hide? Uh, I remember that hammer, man. My hammer, I love my fucking hammer so much. Um, where do men like me hide? Um, in, if, in, um, in, typically we're, we're, we're either at home or we are at, um, at a LARP event. <laughs> at a LARP event or we're, we're, we're in a park doing a LARP. Shit kind of people. Um, um, that's not that's not all. Then two different types of quarter staffs, like staffs, timber, like timber. But they're all like poly polyurethane foam, or polyethylene foam. Um, and then you got a metal one. So right, on the field, casting. And they've got one sword in there. I got my scimitar and my and my ute and my dagger and my ute so I keep getting to take it out of there. Um, I also then have uh yes, this is this is there. There's more. Guys, yeah, there's fucking more. This has to be dressed up. Um this is my my helmet. Uh all this stuff is from Kelly Mantle, which is a, a manufacturer of LARP weapons. So many weapons, I clearly need to go shopping. I am not, I am not that, I am not that impressive. <laughs> um, so this is my helmet, um, so our LARP has certain safety rules, so this is like done on the cheek, so this is the last generation of Kelly Mesel, um, thrust, thrust, uh, thrust safe, perhaps sitting thrust safe, um, helmets, so you can see the tip here, most Kelly Mesel helmets, most Kelly Maxwell halberds you actually can't um, thrust with. Um, this one is actually just got a thrust set core in there and it, it bends enough and there's enough distance where you can actually still thrust with it. Um, so typically we'll be at the line and it's just, you know, you're either, you're either chopping or you're going for usually legs just above the ankles or if you're clever enough you can just eat some shoulders and stuff like that. Yeah, that's great. Lots of fun. Um, I've got a bow here. I think that's all the all the weaponry that we use all the time. Like this is that's probably not the bone. And then you know, I got armor and stuff. I mean, you guys want to see some armor? But like full kit. Should I just get fucking dressed up in full kit just to be like for you all to see? <laughs> I won't. I won't get dressed in full kit, but I'll show you some of my outfit. So here we got my warrior priest of Sigma. Um, hell yes. Okay, all right, all right. Since you guys are, since since you guys are, since you guys are popular. So um, part of my typical kit is a is playing a warrior priest of Sigma. So uh, warrior priest of Sigma are like a holy divine sort of like heavy metal Jesus priest priest sort of thing. So I, I wear sort of a um a uh a holy a holy sort of a robe sort of thing that you actually get it done right. So this is gonna be at the back. Yeah so twin type on it painted in gold right there so when I'm on the field fighting and shit and it gets this gets fastened with some rope through some eyelets here here, just to tuck it in. Um, this is actually what my Gambus and I brought a Mongolian 
uh, Gamison from um, uh, Armstrong. So it was a full length Gamison. Went down to like the floor here. It was like, because we took a bit, fair bit of it off. So it actually uh, would sit like this and it went down to the floor like this. Um, so we, I actually trimmed that off and I just kept the top half of it. So it was a full arm, it's like a full body Gamison. Um, Shields, of course, you've got to have shields, you can have shields. This is the biggest shield you can actually have in our game. Um, mine's got a curve in it, so I can actually, so I can go in a little bit more of like, box boy protection. Um, because our wall band, uh, I have black cockles, of course, where the black cockles, of course, is where the order of black cockles, um, we have a special buckler, we call it the buckler. Um, a buckler is a small shield, it's usually quite active. Ours is called the buckler, and it is a chicken egg. Um, and you know, typically you're, typically you're actually, it's, it's actually a short sword, sort of here, or sort of like down here, and you're pushing, you're using the beak and the little giblet at the bottom to push away. How do you come up with the name? We started out as a joke. We started out as a joke war band, so like, um, uh, we wanted to be, uh, we wanted to have a, we, we initially wanted to be, uh, well, we initially wanted to be, like, called, uh, I think somebody threw out the idea of, like, brass cockerels, uh, which is actually a wall band, but we thought, ah, oh, that's probably too close to the nose, you know, balls on the brass, uh, you know, balls on the brass can sort of deal, and we thought, ah, oh, no, it's probably a little bit too close to the nose, so we went black cockerels, you know, black cock. Big, big, big black cockerels, you know, sort of deal. Like, haha, funny penis joke. Um, I'm just gonna see this camera. Right. Um, so you know, it's a haha, funny penis, penis joke, uh, sort of, sort of deal. Um, just <laughs> Hero, eighty-four. Thanks for following on the cult of the, the, the cult of the worm. Um. All hail the space fighter. <laughs> um, so, part of the warrior priests in the Warhammer Fantasy universe, they all wear like high collars and stuff like that. So, my character's had a couple of run ins where he's uh, he's actually uh, met the tail, met the, uh, the upper end of like cultists, like, like knives and shit to his throat. Um, never used to wear. Um, uh, um, metal coif or anything like that, but um, typically I'll be in my full play armor, this on, with, uh, put it first, with, um, this over top, so this just gets done up. Like I'll have, I'll have people actually doing up armor and shit like that for me. It's actually strange because I've seen it on the I feel like that is kind of frustrating. Okay, that's, that's probably better. Yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah, gotta get a high, high neck, it's down right, it's, it's bevel, and then front play, front back. Um, and then, over the top of this, I put, put, put my hood. My hood is probably good for a wash, it's a bit muddy. Um, but, you know, it's, it's armor. It's all like fluff stuff, like, you know, I'm fighting once a week, every week. In full kit. You know, I've got full, I usually have full plate arms and shit, and it comes on. So it all sticks a little bit more. Because it's not strapped and everything, and I'm not wearing my gamison, it's uncomfortable. Obviously, it's metal, more essentially over a couple of fabric on the skin. My gamison's thick, which is what that skirt is. And so, like, I'll have this on, and then and underneath, it's like. I've done this all back. Oh, 
armor goes on last. It's always the soft stuff that goes on first. And then so like, in this, full armor running around being like, yeah, from Sigma! Fucking okay, roughing the Sigma right trip. And when I feel like, you know, just kind of when I step away from stuff, put the foot on, suddenly, ooh, got that, got that Sigma tank here, boy. Oh wait, one side. Yeah, got that Sigma tank here, boy. Ooh, damn, damn, Priest of Sigma. Um, which is, I mean, that's lots of fun. I love laugh. I mean, I get to hit people every week with weapons. Like, why, why, why wouldn't you want to do that? Why wouldn't you want to fucking do that shit? It's fun. Set, go. So yeah, I, I run a warband called an Imperial Warband. An Imperial Sigma Warband called the Order of Black Buckle. Um, <coughs> we're funny Lanch. We're funny, uh, sort of like, haha, Monty Python boy sort of deal. I think I'm in the wrong sport. LARP is, like, good LARPs. You gotta, you know, uh, I know Canada. Is it Canada? Well, actually, I think, no, I don't think it's Canada. I think it's Europe. Europe has a, a LARP called Bickling. Um, it's one of the larger LARPs. Out there, at the moment. uh, large, it's one of the larger laughs out there. Bickling is fucking, um, I've heard nothing but cool things from Bickling. Um, definitely something that if you want to take part in laugh, I would look into. And it's just, just like, it's a hobby, it's a hobby which it's a it's a multi faceted hobby. So, I um, so another variant of like the twin tail comet, which is like. Like, all from Warhammer Fantasy. Sigma Halden Hammer. You know, I, I multi-toned him in there. It's a little bit like a goldfish, but whatever. It's, it's meant to be cool. You know, uh, hand-painted. Hand-painted Sigma in there. In gold as well. It's, it's yeah, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a... It's a hobby that you can be creative in. Exactly. Like you can you can just be creative and you can make and craft stuff. Like our our one in Australia is called um Swordcraft. Um it's one of the lot it's the largest lot. Um I think in Australia. Um it's primarily played in, in Victoria, but there is chapters like there's the Brisbane chapter, there's uh, chapters in South Australia. Um, yeah. Um, and that's just like, that's like a small part of my kid. I know of that in bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, Swordcraft's great. I, uh, I, I, I quite like Swordcraft. Um, it's also fun. I'm taking this off, because, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to, um, Ruin the fit on them. <laughs> oh, bike bickling is in Canada. I see. I thought it was Canada. Peace Pro. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Peace Pro. I am. Um, uh, I like. I got raided, so I was. Uh, I was showing off. <laughs> um, the the land shit. Um. Yeah. And you know, uh, what sort of practice and stuff like that. I'm actually tempted. It's, it's, it's an idea. I'm not sure if I'm that brave. Showing off your passions, man. Love to see it. Thanks, dude. I, uh, I'm, I'm tempted to say it. Um, I'm tempted to do it. Lanschneck, the Lanschnecks were really, uh, really sort of, uh, bra uh, sort of brash with sort of the stuff that they did. So, like, um, a Lanschneck, Lanschnecks would typically have a fixed Pissing me off. Um, I've, done it. I've, I've done the thing that you're not meant to do is touch the campus. Um, so Lanchnecks were pretty uh, um, brash in the way of the stuff that they would, how they would show themselves. So because they're in all these flamboyant colours, they're in big, very bright, showy stuff. Like um, medieval warfare is a little bit different from what you conceptualise it in the movies. So medieval warfare, like there was a lot of colours, there was a lot of paint armors were painted and stuff like that and 
quite a lot of things, um, we're finding more and more evidence that that actually being the case in history. Um, so, uh, land snakes were obviously just like byproduct of that. But they would do things that would be seen and frowned upon. So, like, when I mean, you would think, I'm going to enter into a battlefield where people have lots of sharp slashing objects, um, they're going to kill me. Land snakes are usually at the end of a big, big long pike. Uh, or a halberd, or, 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 or a flambeuge, you know, those weapons can go anywhere from 180 centimeters upwards. Um, they're really long, deadly weapons. Um, so, what would piss off your enemy more than exposing your fucking thigh like this and being like, yes, I am a land snack. Look, you can't get this fresh white. Come on, come on. You want to fight me? They wore booty shorts. They wore fucking leather booty shorts into battle just because they wanted to say fuck you to the enemy. How fucking great is that? It's like, they're the fucking maddest guys around. Just amazing. Like, actual, like, booty shorts. Leather booty shorts. They were just like, we're going to bring it, son. Come and get it. Come on. There's a nice big artery here. Slash it. See if you can. Mate, if you were on the end of the gun, like, just hope this thing shoots straight. Mm. <laughs> sort of thing, like you're on the end of the musket, it's not a fast track. Um, but yeah, so that's a uh, that's um, uh, swordcraft. I'm making essentially a uh, uh, a big fun fuck you sort of deal, um, which is you know, lunch neck, just 101, you know. It's lots of fun. I love, uh, you know, I love the land snakes and just the sort of history they 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 prol proliferated. Um, yeah. So we're sno we're 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 sewing this, sewing this all together. We're gonna take the pins out of this now. But no. Uh oh. Um. But yeah. No. Um. That's that's the joy and that's the sort of the fun of, of the land snake is that. They were just some fucking cool, really, um, really talented mercenaries that knew what their worth was and just took no shit from anyone. Really, really fucking bad. I slept my fucking shit. fucking shit hurt. So I'm tempted to actually make the, the black leg in those, like, a, like a low cut, like, showing the, showing the thigh sort of deal. Like, um, you know, that's just, it's such a it's such a fucking flex. And, you know, you see it and you're just like, you know, I'm gonna fucking slap you there. I'm gonna use the flat of my blade to fucking slap you there. And, and everybody, and, ev and like, you, you can't be mad at them for when they can do it because it's like, I was like, we're quite, quite obviously egging them on when doing shit like that. <laughs> it's like, um, oh, actually, you know what? No, uh, for the class. Give me an opening and I'll bop ya. You, you, you shoot me, you shoot me from a distance. It'll be either, you shoot me from a distance and it'll be like, Mwah, smack bang, right in the thigh. Just like that perfect slappy meaty fucking, fucking shot. <laughs> uh, let me pull up. I've got photos of it on my Instagram at, you know, yeah, like, like, like there. Ooh, little Kedax Lapper. Yeah, right there. Right there. You can go check me out there on Instagram. Yeah. Let me see if I can pull up, pull up a picture or two. Never remember. Oh, I can't pull it up on there. I'll just have to go through my. Um, hang on, I can I can find a picture. I can find your picture, a primish. A a primish. I can find your picture. Man, 
okay enough I'll stop so stop posting so many fucking haha uh, funny memes I'll show you, I'll show you all, I'll show you three images. Oh my god, do the booty shorts or the pants with the open fire slits. I'm tempted, I'm actually, I actually am really tempted just to go with the open fire slits because fucking, why not? Why, why the fuck wouldn't I? Um, alrighty, let me, let me show you some photos. Let me show you all some photos. <coughs> oh, you'll have to excuse the, um, the cough, I get a little now and then. Okay, so this is this is typically my 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 wear. What I'll what I'll typically wear. That's that's another photo of me after a fight. It's pretty cool, and that's my warband. It's doing a slideshow. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> so yeah, um, I have like a whole scripture thing that I wear on my wear on my belt, and um, you know, lots of leather belts, all sigmarites, uh. We all have lots of, lots of armor, lots of fun. Uh, we also, um, have, uh, condiment names. We also, so, like, uh, cause we're a little bit of a haha -ha funny, funny, haha -ha funny joke sort of group. Um, we, we all go by condiment names. We look like an actor in Game of Thrones. Um, thank you. I take, oh, I, I take that as a compliment. Um, it's, yeah, it's a lot of effort. Like, to get to this point, to get to, like, there, it's a lot of effort. Like, you know, my Gamerson, my Gamerson top and bottom cost me, uh, like, I think it was, like, 400 and, like, almost $500. Um, the hood itself was, um, actually the cheapest thing amongst them. I think I got that on sale for 40 Um, the belt tab I made myself, and I wrote all that out. That's in, like, badly translated <laughs> German and, uh all handwritten and the bottom part of it is like um in english um like everything's been painted the the trim on the hood is all all my own all, all stuff that i've done myself like you know um it it takes a lot of effort there's a lot of stuff that has to be has to be done um it's 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 something that you just you, you you can't set yourself the expectation of that I'm gonna be good I'm gonna I'm gonna be good at what it is and get to the same level as as the people who've been doing it for ages straight away. Um, I like watching all my guys like go from go from like you know hiding t-shirts and jeans and like bare minimum stuff to uh, you know one day rocking up in like some really really nice kit or seeing other people who do the same are in the same, you know, um, game, you know, really progress their kit and really progress, like, the, the atmosphere of the game, because like, people's kits and stuff like that really do have a big, um, uh, a big, uh, feel on the atmosphere, like, we're in a Warhammer Fantasy setting universe, we have to have that Warhammer Fantasy feel, so, this lanch neck that I'm making right now, sure it may be based off history, but um, the Empire in Warhammer Fantasy actually have um, uh, like it's it's all inspiration stuff that's been inspired by history stuff. So um, the Empire wears a lot of lanch neck. They they're like they're like a like a like a a soft. Um, uh, 
German, like a soft, uh, like medieval German empire, sort of along the lines of like your, um, yeah, they're because they like it's like the empire is Europe, Britannia is like England and France, um, in that sort of medieval time, um, uh, and Britannia is all about like the holy, the the Grail knights and the Holy Grail and the Lady of the Lake, which is a god and all that sort of stuff. Um, then you've got like uh, Kislev, and they're all um, uh, they're all about like they're all like all the Slavic and and um, Scandinavian. No, definitely not Scandinavian. They're all like the Slavic and the um, uh, what's it called? Um, like Rush, like Rus, uh, Russian sort of style. Um, and, uh, sort of, Hung a little bit of Hungarian as well, um, style, uh, um, inspired, um, like, his historically inspired sort of stuff. So they take from a lot of places and mash it all together. Like, we have people playing elves and orcs, you know, a couple of my, a couple of our, our the sort of our longest running members are, like, ex-orcs. Like, which... If, if the Cockles weren't a, um, if the, if the Order of the Black Cockles wasn't a, uh, M Imperial Warband, uh, we're literally a couple of degrees away from being orcs. Uh, we just think, it's, uh, if we, uh, just decided to, uh, wear, like, wear the fucking masks on field, uh, we would be fucking orcs. No, we just have fun with it. Um, all our, our game completely runs in, a, in its own little hamlet, uh, in its own little, um, township. Like, like, um, uh, so, where our, our, our chapter is like the second largest chapter in Victoria, um, um, their main chapter, which is the main chapter of their town is called Sudenburg, so they're like a, like a city, um, where like a, like a small town, small sort of trading, trading town. We, we have no more than 200 people in our town. Whereas Sudenburg, Sudenburg has two to five hundred people in a town, in their town. Like they're where everybody goes. Like Suden, because we're because we're in a section of the Warhammer Fantasy universe which is called Badlands, and we're on the edge of the Border Princes, which is just below the Empire, past the mountains. It's like Orc territory, um, and we're on the edge of Orc and um, Goblin territory in the Badlands. Just on the edge of the Badlands, not in the Badlands. We'll be fucking in the Badlands. Um, so the whole game is about like you know being Warhammer Fantasy inspired, having fun with that, making our own little stories and doing our events and doing our weekly battle games, which either does stuff for our town that will sort of have consequences or benefits in the events that happen on happens throughout the year. Like so, we all we're all every week we're actively trying to each warband, there's a few warbands that are going around, that go around in, in our chapter, um, will, they, um, uh, they, we're all actively trying to, like, make, make our towns better, so that they can, you know, anything that the, the, sort of the GMs, or the DMs and stuff like that can actually, that will throw at us, will actually, um, have a, have a chance of surviving. So, we recently um, had uh, orcs, or well, what we presume is, what we presume was an orc, leading um, some goblins, or, or or a hobgoblin leading some some goblins. Um, so it was like it was like a it was like oh shit, this is a threat we have to deal with now. And, um, we did, each warband, we had Cockrells, Middenheim, Castilias, Sands, Rats, uh, Inquest, I think there was one more, I think there was one more that we had during the time, <laughs> trying to actually deal with and find out where in our little sort of area where these 
guys are sort of hiding and what they're doing and why they're what they're up to and how we and trying to actively push them out of the out of the out of the area. So like Creed stores our town. We've got like lots of little hamlets around us that we're that Creed store is responsible for taking care of and you know that actually makes that actually helps affect the Creed store. So it's our, our GMs and stuff like that have really thought and our story teams have actually really thought really hard about how our what we call sagas play out and how our town works and what sort of stuff a medieval town would cry us would cry. So you know if say something happens to the, the the hamlet which had all the farmers and all the agriculture the people that did all the agriculture suddenly up and vanish um suddenly we have nobody to farm our crops so oh shit that now becomes an issue that the town and the warbands now have to fix um and normally it's uh we either cut a deal at, a, at an event or we uh go or you know uh, typically a, a regular saga night would be uh we're going here and doing this or we're going here and investigating this or we're going here to secure this um resource for the town um, or we're going here to clear out um to check on this area it hasn't been to nobody's been to this hamlet for a while um let's make sure it's actually clear rather than um, potentially compromised, <laughs> which is always something that can happen. Um, that's how we ended up with an with an orc war. With uh, it was orcs. It must have been orcs. With an orc war boss uh, floating around our fucking area, he crossed the he crossed what's called the Blood River uh, in the Badlands, and uh, sort of just a group of them came over, and we sort of really fucking went hard in. And stomp the shit out of them. Um, never found him because he was, he was a, he was a cunning, he was a cunning sort of orc. So he would, uh, he was called the Forge Master, and he he fucked off. So um, he was making shit. We don't know what shit he was making. Um, we had evidence of a of an ogre recently floating around the area, and we're like, that's bad. Ogres are normally mercenaries, but. They're still bad. We don't want, them, want one of them floating around. They'll fucking eat shit that we don't want them eating. Uh, they may eat the fucking le they may eat the fucking cannonballs, and we don't want to. I don't want an ogre suddenly regurg regurgitating high speed fucking um, cannonballs. Like that's that's bad. That's bad. Um, you know, it's 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 cool little things like that. Um, yeah, love's great. If you can fucking laugh, man. Fucking laugh. Laugh's awesome. Find your nearest laugh. Fucking see how you can join. Fucking join with them. Hang out. Do shit. Just fucking... Just... Meet some people. Make some friends. Join a group. Fucking make a character. Um, so, yeah. We, we, we use condiment names. So, uh, quite literally, uh, my name is Light Milk, but it's in Swiss, so my name is Light Milk. We have a, a tartar, we have a hot English mustard, um, we've got things like Biscoff and uh, Nutella, and uh, I think we've got, um, we've got a gherkin spread, um, we have, oh, we've just got heaps of them, like, we've got like, uh, sweet chili, we've got, um, yeah, uh, we've got, we've got hot sauce in Latin, uh, condimentium condominium, um, and, uh, he regrets that decision now, uh, so he should, <laughs> but, uh, the, the meme is there, <laughs> uh, so I love that, um, because Sigmarites typically will, um, have a, get given a dwarven name, so our, our, our warband sort of story is that um, we're a part of a big pilgrimage, and that pilgrimage kind of got really fucked up um, midway through. Um, trying to uh, uh, spread the word of Sigma, which is obviously the like heavy metal Jesus. He he united all the all the human tribes um, uh, out of their petty squabbles. And more thinking about like the land and shit like that, and you know, 
Gravy. Yes, gravy. Uh, Worcestershire. We've got a Worcestershire. Um, we've got we've got so many now that I actually can't remember them all. Um, that it's now just like I'm remembering faces. <laughs> I think we had a mint jelly at one point. We had uh, a spread that somebody found called Gooba Grape at one point. They stopped laughing just, I think, because life comes first. Tabasco, yes, Tabasco, thank you. Um, so many. You're remembering more of my own, my own fucking members than I am. Um, we've got uh, Yacht Goal. We've got... Um, You know what? I'm actually just going to open up the fucking chat. Uh, I'm opening up the chat just so I can see the fucking nickname. So we've got a jalapeno chutney, we've got a kimchi, we've got a balsamic vinegar, we've got yacht gol wasabi, we've got lap milk, lap milk, uh, we've got Nutella, Worcestershire, Caesar dressing, we've got tartar, hollandaise, gherkin spread, Tabasco, hot English mustard, sweet chili, bernays, um, uh, uh, caladim condimentium. A condominium, we've got a peanut butter, we've got a, um, uh, he hasn't chosen one yet, we've got gravy, we've got cupid mayo, we've got a barbecue, we've got a sriracha, we've got, uh, agliata, we've got marmalade, like, you know. <coughs> Do you have a spreadsheet? Uh, no, I just look in the, uh, group chat under nicknames. Nori? Nori is, Nori is not one of ours, actually. Which is funny. You would think Nori, like, Nori sushi, uh, nori rolls, uh, like the, 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 the thing is, but actually nori isn't, isn't a, isn't a cockerel. He's just a witch hunter. Like, so yeah, we're, um, we actually run the church in Sudenburg, in, in Sudenburg, in Kriegstor. Um, and we're a type of, we're the type of funny guys that would, uh, be like, hey, you know, what would we call a, 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 a building which has, um, uh, uh, divine, a divine, uh, place for, for, um, people to come and pray to Sigma and all that sort of stuff, and, uh, what would, what would we, what would we name that building? Um, and, uh, so I come up with a great name, and also, um, houses the, uh, witch hunters. So I came up with this great idea. It's called, it's called the House of Teaching. And if you abbrevi if you abbreviate it with all of the letters, uh, just just type in chat what the house of teaching is. Comes up as if you abbreviate it. Come on. Come on. Wait for chat to go. Come on, chat. Come on. Abbreviate the house of teaching with with all the with all the words, including the vars and the o's and the ofs. Come on. Chat sometimes says a little bit. I don't know why. I think it's on some sort of like. It's not like a stream setting, but I think it's just like a, a latency thing. It's thought. Our, our house of spiritual worship to uh, one of the most important gods in the Warhammer Fantasy universe. A serious place where witch hunters interrogate uh, mages who may or may not be 
corrupted by the ruinous powers of chaos is called thought. The black cockerels reside in a place called thought. I just... It just came to me one day. <laughs> like, fuck, we're, we're, we're in charge of running the, this guild. <laughs> so, fuck it. And and it got it got approved, and it's like, actually, you guys put thought into it. Um, oh, the House of Teaching, I really like that. I'm like, cool, now abbreviate it. Oh my god. And we're like, yeah. And they're like, alright, yeah, no, you guys have actually, you know, you've, you've, you've done enough for it to be reasonable to actually make, have that joke hidden there. So, and it's actually take it, people haven't actually uh, haven't uh, put two and two together. Um, next year's posters for our um, for our event for our quest, I'm actually going to put like the house of teaching, capitals for each one in a long straight line, just to see if people will actually get the fucking get the fucking joke. <laughs> Cause god damn. It would be it would be quite literally three years and nobody is uh nobody's paid attention to that. Nobody's figured out that joke. I am amused by it anyway. Yo. Damn. Sonic, oh you're about to finish my dude. We're gonna listen to the soundtrack again, because I like it actually. It's a good soundtrack. Um, yeah, so, that's, that's essentially, yeah. hi, you just essentially had the, uh, do laugh and have fun experience. Um, now, do laugh and have fun, guys. Uh, I love it and hate it. Nah, nah. If you organically found that out without having been told, you'd be like, that is some of the, like, most greatest fucking horse shit that is, like, uh, Magnus, or Magnum Opus level of like cockerel horse fuckery, like. <laughs> I think I had to explain it to Lagushka as well, and he was just like, "Oh my fucking god, that's great! How the fuck did you guys get that approved?" <laughs> Oh my god, right? You could. You absolutely fucking could. Absolutely, Sam. Absolutely fucking could. But like, it, it's 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 still pretty obvious. Like it's it's obvious enough. Like it's like like hidden in plain sight sort of shit. So, um, yeah, so, so recent stuff that Cockerels have done is that, um, we, we do a lot of stuff that about, uh, sort of securing the town's resources and things like that. We, um, uh, we did a little oopsie, no, it actually wasn't oopsie, we, we butchered, uh, Hamlet, um, because they weren't people, they were heretics, um, like, we recently had a mayor, and we helped rig the election for that, um, and we actually put the previous mayor to the currently democratically elected mayor, uh, in power, um, so that way we could get some extra shit sort of done, uh, without any, having to have any oversight. And he was a cool dude, he just, he just wanted to hang out and party, yo, that's, that's cool. What do you mean, yes but no? What do you mean, yes but no? We rigged that election. And I was open about it. Completely open about it that we were... It's not shenanigans. 100% not shenanigans. We actually... We actually rigged the election. Why? Because they wouldn't let my fucking berry bushes in. They wouldn't make them legal. 
he had me right up until those berry bushes weren't legal. I was like, okay, nah, fuck you. Absolutely not. Not in your life. Those berry bushes have to be legal. And the other bloke was like, I'll make them legal. And that was his, quite literally his first action, was making them legal. Oh, fuck. I'm like, hey, hey. yeah. So during COVID, a bit of a story, our community came together and actually built our town in Minecraft. And we all played, um, played on it, um, you know, not in character or anything like that, but we just like collectively helped build the town. And, and all the, and all of it. And there was like all the story team and like the, like the, um, our orgs and stuff like that were there, like helping, um, making sure the town was like laid out as it was in the map and things like that. You know, it was really fun. And, um, bro, it's latency. Oh my god, I'm in caps. I shouldn't be in caps. <laughs> Ooh, I just put the mic. I'm sorry, guys. Rip headphones users. The berries were, like, quite literally the best. Um, berries were great. Um, purely because there was something that just came up from that, uh... You know, the lockdown stuff. Like, we were all in lockdown, we were all playing Minecraft together, we are just having some time. Um, building, building out our LARPs town in Minecraft, we are actually visualizing it. Um, it was really, it was lots of fun, really cool and shit. Um, it was great. Um, and so, there's an item in Minecraft called Spike Berry Bushes. And, we... I was going around, there's people going around and planting them and people were getting caught in them and dying. And so, uh, the, the current mayor at the time, Cardi, uh, decreed, okay, we're, we're making the berry bushes illegal. So I was like, no, no, we're not. And so all throughout Craig's store, there's like a section of our wall, which is, we got like a, about, I think it's about a third of our total surrounding walls is stone. <coughs> and they are like completely hollow on the inside so all through there I was planting berry bushes in a section of the timber in a section of the wooden parts of our walls they're hollow on the inside coming up the stone so I was just planting berry bushes all through there there's this there's this great little underground section um, and I was just fucking planting berry bushes all throughout there um, I actually think this, I actually, I, I have a download of the map, of the Minecraft world. That server is still maybe up. I think they can just turn it on and off whenever the fuck they want, um, sort of go. It's, it's fucking awesome. Um, it was great. It was lots and lots of fun. Um, I just, I just got up to the most fucking stupid shit. It was, it was lots of fun. I, I couldn't, I just, it's, it's one of those things that like, you just, you just do and then you talk about it and you tell about your friends and things like that. And it's, it's, it's good fun. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, we're quite literally almost done this sleeve now. Um, which is great. Because then we can then attach it to the thing. Guys, we can almost attach it to the fucking thing. It's, I said I'll get the sleeve done by 12 and I've got 8 minutes. Let's let's be real quick and go over to the sewing machine. Haha. -ha. I have to move cameras around because I don't have that many phones to connect all up to the computer and be like, Ah, technologic. Technologic magic, man. Another four-hour stream, Henry. Give me. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, need the thing I'm sewing as well. 
that's kind of important for the whole process, I guess. Actually, still, um, I, 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 I run, I set dress and everything, but like it's all, it's all like, you know, it's, it's, it's all like on the up and up. Like, I have like skulls with like beeswax candles, like mounted on them and stuff like that. In fact, you know what? As a treat, if y'all can sit through the sound of my, from what I've been told, quiet sewing machine on the street. Um, you can see my, my cool beeswax candle skull. <sighs> uh, my, 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 my skull with the beeswax candle on it is actually fucking cool as. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm very proud of it, to be honest. It's one of those things that you put together and go, fuck, that's actually, that's actually real fucking cool. Damn, man. That's cool. It's not gonna be long. This 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 will take next to no time. Uh, so all really easy. I do it pretty lazy in terms of sewing. Um, if you if you sew and you you see the street, uh, look away. Server, you also have to request it on the Discord, by the way. Um, look, this... You probably have to hit them up on the Discord. Alright. You're all doing very well to stay while the uh, sewing machine's going. There we go, look at that. So you sort of alleviate a little bit of stress, but it's hard to sort of actually just to shift the foot over to the next bit. Because this material gets so heavy and stuff, you have to start pinning stuff in. You can't just sew straight on, um, straight over onto something else. Like you have to, it has to be pinned. It has to, you have to sort of do all this sort of fun, weird stuff with it. Most once I done, guys. I'm very proud of you. So yeah. guys doing? What have you guys been, been up to? Y'all got any hobbies? No? Play any good video games lately? What are y'all Zoomers been up to? Stitch. 
Nice. Nice. But I'm doing the middle right away. We, we do either side and then we do this. Oh my god. Ah, purples. Sure, you pin in the right direction with the sewing machine. I did not pin in the right direction for my sewing machine. I'm ashamed. Sherm. Oh, oh, I'm gonna wash it. Kevin McAdoo with a DBC of reach. Very close, guys. Very close, and I'll cut it right now. Jacket for the event. We, we, fuck it. I feel you. I, I definitely feel you there, Sam. They're the one that you're doing, like, oh no, that's a, that was a skirt you were doing, man. That's what you thought. Sorry to have like an action cam for like the uh for like haha <laughs> this so something that I sort of don't do enough of on stream to actually that's the job is Tuesday. Yeah, fair. I don't blame you. Like uh this, this hands down needs to be completed by her tonight. If this isn't done by her tonight, um, I'm going to be very upset with myself. In fact, I kind of want it done on a Monday, the, the Monday before her tonight. Yeah, hand sewing didn't happen today. Yeah, don't play. Fuck that. Fuck hand sewing, man. You're, 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 you're very brave for trying it in the first place. I never hand sew fucking shit. Fuck that. I actually do have a bunch of hands, so I'm gonna do to my um My jacket? What did I do with that? What the fuck happened to my warrior priestess sigma jacket? I made this really cool um, twin tail comic um, jacket. Yeah. The red handstone uh, twin tail comic back. Um, and I just realized I potentially misplaced it. Which is definitely not good. It's kind of important. And that's something I would like to, like to have done. Gutsies. 
Is it in the car? No, it's definitely not in the car, man. I got a U. You know if something's in the U. I think I might just be um. I think I might have just put it in a, in a basket somewhere. It, it will definitely be somewhere. It's just where that somewhere is. I have a vague idea. I have a big idea where it might be. Probably just it's probably down there somewhere, but I don't remember seeing it there. That's the thing, I'm gaslighting myself. Oh no. No, it was just ended. Just to say I was giving it compliments. <laughs> Insert Reddit mask guy in there. I'm not sure I want to run it on a bank.
my hosen sand tools is sewn. Now, we flip this chunk boy inside out. That's what we do, 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 we put them inside out, my dude. And then we stitch all up the stuff I've given myself space for. Just hope I've got given myself enough seam allowance. So we're all together. I don't know what happened. The idea is, is that you just move the fabric as you in, as you coming, as you sewing into it, um, away from the the sleeve. Guys, we're so close to my goal of 150 followers. <gasps> Finally, it's fine. Fine. Shit. Ooh. Pants sharted. It's fine, it's fine. Fine exactly what I expected. You know what? We're gonna sew on this. We're gonna sew on the sleeve to the vest. It's gonna happen. Um, this is kind of cray cray. I didn't think uh, I would. I would have this done. Don't scare me like that. Um, hang on. Let's, let's, let's grab the, let's grab the, uh, grab the vest. <laughs> so this is the orange shoulder sleeve, so I want it on the black. So, how I'm doing, how, how, how I, how I am planning on doing it is because I have a side of the vest. So it's meant to alternate the color, yeah? So, I have a side of the vest as a blocking of one major colors. So obviously this black, this is where the sleeves go. Uh, the orange side is where the black top sleeve will go. So what we do, and I'm actually just going to turn this around so you can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm going to fold this side out. Put the sleeve. Get it all nice. However I want. Nice and laid out. Some whatevsies. I don't even mind, I don't care. So, that's the orange edge. I don't want him here. I want him to sew onto this side here. So, we find the top of our sleeve, which is here, where the seam isn't. This 
the seam. Top of our sleeve. We put him into our material like this. So open this up. here, then the rest of it here. So then what we do is we get a pin and then we pin it together. So I guess I'll bring the edge up, I'll bring the edge down over. Gotta feel what I'm doing. And action, no action, no action, camera. Come over here and enjoy the banter. A, 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 uh, a, uh, for, for viewers who don't know, I, I like the song sing and I sing a sang. Boy, I'm here to song. Don't make me song at you. Okay, so we stuff here into here. And we make sure we're grabbing the light. So I've done a zigzag a stitch. So I'm going to pin where the zigzag is. From the top to the bottom, because that's where it's attaching to. And obviously we're gonna have overlap, and that doesn't matter, that's fine. They don't care. We don't we don't we don't care about that. Let's grab some pennies. Pin this lap. I'm so close. This is so close to being done. I'm so excited. Uh, ah, it's gonna be great. Can't wait. Let's start pinning this lead. Ooh, I'm excited. It's almost done. I can't wait. Mm -mm. I can't wait. I'm very, very, very excited. Bring this back. Pinning is the bit that's going to take the longest because I've got to pin through lots of layers now. Um, oh, I pinned upside down, that's why it's weird. I pinned from bottom to top instead of top through. Now I know the bottom seam isn't going to line up to this seam. I just know it isn't. It's just something that um, I didn't account for, and it's happened, and whatever. No, it's it's happened, whatever. But what I can do is that I can pin these and then just plate on the bottom. Like, whatever. It's the seam. It's gonna look a little bit funky, but who gives a shade?
but I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. Da, da, da. This is actually very exciting. Pinning a sleeve on. Pinning the first sleeve on. This is now where, where a complicated thing is going to happen. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait before I pin this inside bit here. I'm going to pin the other side next. Because we've pinned from the top, we'll just go on again, straight line. Turn it the right way. So we know, know which way the machine's going to take it, so the machine's going to go this way. So we pin in the opposite direction that we were before. Now, just to, you know, make things easier for us. Exciting stuff and also scary. Very scary, actually. I'm terrified. Uh, sewing this this all together now is it's gonna somewhere it's gonna fuck up. It's gonna look real bad because I fucked it up somewhere, and that's my that's my that's my it's like a massive fucking fear. So I got this bit of a gap. And I'm a little concerned. Um, with this gap, but hey, look. You know, this is why I can just pleat some shit. Not gonna be a biggie. Like, I got this, I can fix it. I can fix him. I can fix him. I'm not a king. He said, knowing full well the relationship was dead. No, senor, no. The relationship, no da. No da. Tell yourself all that you want, Jorge. The relationship is dead. Fucking look at you three followers. Uh, you three viewers. What fucking troopers. All three of you. Absolute fucking chats. Staying up this late with me. Watching me uh, sew this shit together. Kind of casually shit myself as I'm doing it too. It's fine, it's fine. We're all terrified. coming up it's all it's all coming to plan as it will as it should it's 
fucking heat is going to come up good. Same way as in the last one. Whew. You said what I wrote. Played it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, everything's a plate. You fuck something up, you just plate the shit out of it. Just plate the fuck out of that shit. Moment of truth. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna try and put you all in like the most actioniest action cam area I can put you in where it's going to be safe to have you hanging about. Um That's actually a good spot, but I actually have no place to, like, stack you up to that point. Okay. Okay, hombre. Let's do this. Let's do this. Whatever it's in there. I'm gonna go on a zigzag stitch. Just to really pull it in there. Here we go. It's gonna be a lot of the formal sign machine to take. A lot. Of material, it's gonna sew through. Um, it's a little, little sewing machine that can. Can I get a? Can I get a? Can I get a preempted app in chat, guys? A preempted app in chat. So I need. I need one preempted app in chat from everyone here. They should see three apps. No. Uh, I'm going to fixing this. There is a lot of thread going there. There's a lot of thread going into this right now. I'm just going straight over everything I've done. I've, the, the line that I'm doing, I'm going back and forth over it. Just, just forward, back, forward. Okay. No fucking coming back from this, lads. It's it's really it's really on there. But it's kind of where the plate is, but I have to take out, I have to come back to here.
can see how far I can get up into it. Getting there. Getting there. So close, guys. So fucking close, I can chase you. It's almost down. So close. So close. I've literally just got this one more pin to do. I didn't look at this thread ever <laughs> of where I've sewn and how I've sewn the, the fucking cover of it. Nobody ever look at this because it's a fucking mess. It's alright, we live with the, we live with the goops. Right, let's set this up. Let's it's it's moment of truth. This is this is the end of the stream. This is this is the moment where we see if everything's worked, where all tonight's effort has gone to. That that uh it's all paid off. This four this these grueling four hours, seeing if they actually have paid off. Now is the, the moment of truth. I'm a fucking idiot. I'm a fucking idiot. Oh my fucking god. I've done it. I've fucking so not inside out. Stupid. So fucking stupid. Oh my gosh. And I pinned. I fucking sewed it on so much. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have to actually. It has to be fixed. It has to be quick unpicked. I have to quick unpick it right fucking now. Oh, There's so much fucking thread. I've done it inside out. I fucking did it inside out. I can't fucking believe it. Thank fuck I was smart enough to use the fucking zigzag stitch. Fucking moron. Absolute fucking dingus. I can't believe I've fucking done this. I can't believe I've fucking done this. Oh my fucking god. Who cared?
Breathe. Breathe, can you, you fucking moron? It's funny, we can laugh about this. This is actually quite humorous. Very fucking funny of me. What did I say? I'm a ha ha hee hee hoo ha man. I like to make the laugh. I'm the funny guy. Everything I do makes me fucking cry. Ha ha hee hee ho ho. Look at what I've gone and done though. I've sewn something onto the other thing. Shouldn't have sewn it like that. I did it the wrong way around. Because I got too excited. Hey. Hey Caillou. How goes the crafting? Well, let me... Let me, let me show you what the fuck I've done. Thanks for coming into the stream. I appreciate it. So I make, so I'm making Lanchnack, yeah? Um, lots of individual pieces. And I just sewed on this fucking sleeve inside it. Like a fucking idiot. Like an absolute fucking moron. I'm actually so fucking mad at myself. Oh my god, excuse the French. But, um, yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I can't fucking believe I've done this. I can't believe I've done this. The, the stream's been going for what? Four, almost five hours. Sure, there's been a fair bit of talking, but, um, it's all been, um,. Uh, getting shit, uh, sewn together for, for the sleeve. Um, so yeah, I'm, uh, kind of absolutely fucking livid is, uh, is the words I would be using. Fucking livid. Absolutely fucking livid. I cannot believe I've fucking gone ahead and done this. It is an issue. It's a very big fucking issue. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know uh, why I thought that would be a smart idea. Fuck, I just thought, shit, that will make good, uh, that makes some good content. Hey, you'll go with that. <laughs> the ghost of this. I just did it for the content. I did it for the ha ha hee hee ho holes. Um, I hope we're all very appreciative of, um, of my comedic genius and timing. <laughs> oh god, I can't... Oh, don't let them see you cry. Don't let chat see you cry. Oh boy. It's been... it is... So, it's been so carefully, like, so meticulously and, like, carefully put together. Quite, oh, yeah, absolutely, just, just purely, purely for the content. That's, uh, that's what I've been doing for five fucking hours. Everything. I've been so careful about uh, making sure shit is done right, and the ways shit's been sewn on, and how it's been laid out. <sighs> oh, breathe, Henry. Breathe. 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 It is salvageable. It is not broke. It is not fucked. It is salvageable. And that's the main thing. I can salvage this. Nobody's going to see how to see any of the mistakes I've just made, aside from on the stream. Immortalized for all um, mankind. I'm going to laugh about this later on. Once the lunch snack is done, I'm going to laugh about this. This is going to be funny. This is absolutely going to be hilarious. What's not funny is... Is, um right now sitting here quick unpicking 
the fucking sleeve I've sewn inside out. The instant I got up, I was like, now it's the time for the event. This is the end of the stream. Blah blah blah. Now it's time to see how things are th see how things have progressed. It is time. Congratulations, Henry. You've done it. You've attached one lanch neck sleeve that's taken you effectively eight hours to make. Eight fucking hours. More than eight hours. It's taken me almost fucking ten hours to actually make this sleeve. Oh, fuck that sleeve. It's just just fucking salt in the wound. So like a fucking human being, I so like a fucking savage. Just because I'm like, I want you to stay on, but I don't actually want to put the effort in to make sure I'm doing the right uh, type of song to uh, make sure the stitch is attached properly and all that stuff. So I'm just gonna fucking do go over you in like a shit ton of thread and just pray that you don't ever come off. I mean, you know, that's effectively that's just gonna keep on there. My dirty ass just uh, says, decides that, oh, yeah, no, that's, that's great actually. If I'm quick on picking, it's because I'm quick on picking right on top of flannel. I am, there is a risk that I'm gonna poke holes in a flannel and run the fucking, like, thread. Oh no, what happened? I just, what, what happened? What's happened? I've sewn the fucking sleeve on inside. <laughs> over, over, it well over ten hours. Just this fucking sleeve, well over ten hours. I fucking sewed it on inside out. Well over 10 hours I've done on this one fucking sleeve. Hi! Hi guys! Who've, who've come into the stream? I uh... I've spent over 10 hours making a lanch neck sleeve and I've sewn it inside out onto the fucking vest. We are now ten minutes away from the from the five hour mark of this stream. And I fucking sewed the land schneck on the inside out. I had to fuck up somewhere. At least it's fixable. That's the main thing, it's fixable. You can fix this. You just have to have patience and be calm. And not lose my fucking mind and have an absolute fucking breakdown live on Twitch. Oh, 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 making my fucking day. The worst thing is they're so like a seven. I put on, I just. I just Fucking stuck as much thread in there. Yep. 
No, I actually, uh, I did, I fixed my ads on Twitch as well, by the way, uh, so they're not running all the time, um, which is great. Uh, I've, I, um, I'm distracting myself, keeping myself, uh, thinking about other things rather than the amount of time. No, it's getting done. It's getting fucking done. I'll probably go till one o'clock. Then I'll um, is, uh, if I don't quick on pick it, quick on pick it, and then I have to come back to it and quick on pick it, I probably won't finish it. It will become an abandoned project. So it has to be quick on picked before I can go to bed. Otherwise, I will abandon this fucking. I won't even leave it on the fucking, at, at the fucking fire station, in a cardboard box and a blanket. Now it's just gonna be fucking dumped into the side of the road, like a fucking animal in the middle of fucking winter. God, that's dark. We, we, hi chat, we've entered the dark timeline now. Is this my punishment? Hmm? Is this my punishment for subjecting my chat to, to fucking non-stop fucking, uh, sanic fucking songs? Hmm? Is it because I subjected my chat to, s to the sonic soundtracks? What sort of sick fucking test is this, you can't- Definitely putting holes in that fucking flannel. This is just no way. It's fine. It's fine. Here's a character. Puckles with with trash with 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 trash mercenary with trash mercenaries. We do we're not not professional or anything like that, you know. Can always be a little scuffed. Why we did do this? Why we set these rules and these these uh these expectations for our own warband is so that way if shit comes goes fucked up and that looks scuffed, then that's okay. It fits with the warband. We 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 we're scuffed for a reason. Appreciate you always stopping by and uh, watching watching the streams. It is highly appreciated. Thank you. Um. Yeah. Get to bed. Get some rest, man. Get a bang. Yeah, this is this is this is life now. I'm quick on picking this on string. I'm quick on picking this on string. Nothing else is 
going to happen this turn. So you can stay. Um, or you can go. Whatever you feel like, I don't mind. I mind. Um, I might just decide to run ads throughout the whole entire thing. What? I can do three minutes. I might even do three minutes of ads. Just to really fuck people up. I can't, I can't watch the world burn like that, like, that's, that's, uh, that's pretty fucked. Losing my mind and my fucking time. Got to guess some cool shit. Tried it just for a little bit. Every time I try to do something fun, I always fuck it up. No, that's a lie. That's a fib. That's just me wallowing in my own self pity right now. I'm wallowing my own self pity. Don't, don't, don't take this seriously. I don't always fuck up shit. I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm a fairly, I'm a fairly cool human being. I, I do, I, I do cool shit. I'm human. I fuck shit up. I fuck it up. Oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck that shit up. Is it? I'm gonna fuck that up. Yeah. yeah she gonna go, go, go fuck up. I'm gonna fuck that up. We don't, we don't dwell on these things, and we deal with them, we have a little bit of a, a little bit of a, uh, we feel sad about it, that's natural, that's okay, we can, we can feel shit, we can wallow in it a little bit, uh, we can dance if you want to, you can leave your friends behind, because your friends don't dance, and if they don't dance, well they're no friends of mine, oh! You can sew where you want to, just remember this one thing. When you're sewing asleep, make sure you're sewing it correctly and not inside out. Oh, lunch neck, lunch neck. These are the lessons I've learned. Oh, lunch neck, lunch neck. Losing my mind for five hours. Lunch neck, lunch neck. Gonna just cry all night. Lunchneck, Lunchneck, why would you sing happen to me? Why does it happen to me? Why does it happen to me? Why did it happen to me? Why would it happen to me? I'm just a poor boy. I'm a man. I'm a man, man. Doing this shit all day if I can. Yo, bro. You sick? <coughs> <coughs> oh shit. Uh, I'm dying. I'm having a quick and pick all this fucking shit. And again, it's because I've sorted it like a fucking savage. Fucking Laura and I sewed it together like a savage. And I did I just fucking did I just fucking quick up pick some of the fucking no I didn't quick up pick some of the fucking fuck off. Fuck. 
I'm not going to apologize for the curse. I deserve it. I'm allowed to curse if I want to. It's your curse all day and night. I'm sitting there looking at this, I'm like, how the fuck did I, what did I do? And then I realized, I have so much good in life. We're gonna ignore that. Couldn't imagine uh, sewing without a quick unpick. Um, fuck unthreading these by hand and having to like try and manually snip all these threads out. No fucking way you could do it. So you're not like the fucking savage I so like. Jesus Christ. Also, I gotta take out the fins before I go to bed. So it'd be like. After one, before I finally get to bed, which is fine, whatever, that's fine, whatever, it doesn't matter. As long as this is quick unpicked, I am actually tempted just to fucking sell it by. Really? I really am. I really am just tempted just to sell it by. And then go to bed. It's not gonna take long. <laughs> Done this much, I might as well do it. Actually, just fucking do it. Living in the city, you know you've got to survive, you got to keep that dream alive. Unstitching extra stitchings that I've done. Can't believe I've been this. I, I was this stupid. What fucking dodo does that? Like, for real. What dodo does this? Sews the shit on inside out, hmm? Man, I was so excited. Dreams and hopes dashed. It was going so smooth. Didn't even think about, yeah, something's gonna fuck up here. So confident in my own abilities. My hubris, that's what it was. Sign. Bro, you're getting too cocky there, mate. How about, uh, how about you stop being such a, such a little smarty pants and, uh, fucking take this cunt in. I'm like, oh, 
my hubris. How could I? How could I have known? Yeah, how we can not be such a fucking smarty pants, eh? Huh? And I just, the instant I got up and I went to turn it in the right way and I knew, fuck, fucking no, I ain't done. And my brother's like, no, 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 it's just, this is just a weird perspective thing. I can, it's, it's, it's not, it's not broken. It's not, it's, it's not, it's not what you think is, has happened. Don't trust your gut. Get, go to give it a shot. And then, and then I saw, saw the, the Travesty. I didn't want to believe it, but in my heart of hearts, I knew. I knew it was true. The utter level of fuck up. Unpicked. I've unpicked it. Fucking unpicked it. Now I have to take all this fucking thread out. It's all on the fucking end. It's all on the inside of the sleeve as well. Absolute fucking joke. Absolute fucking joke that was. Absolute fucking mole. Hmm? Play that sad Rick and Morty music. Hey Google, define depression. Depression. Sewing a fucking fucking lanch neck sleeve on inside out. Oh. Are you currently experiencing depression? Yeah. Sucks to be you, bitch. What the thing to do? You're welcome. Head. The way, the way it was meant to be done was this is right side in, but the sleeve is inside out. And then, and then, the sleeve, the sleeve gets sewn on to the fucking, to the fucking jacket like this, because I'm a such a fucking idiot. I did it the wrong way, so when you pop your fucking arm through it, you can pop your fucking arm through it, it's gonna put it the right way in. But did I think? No. No, I didn't. No, I fucking didn't. I didn't fucking think at all. I actually think, because I want.
That would have been straight up. Sort of back in again because if I have it in there, there's a good chance it will fuck the fucking machine up and get stuck, and then I'll have to re thread some shit. Which I don't want to already redo. Um, the fact that if I may have to re thread the bottom, I can just walk out the room and just end the stream. Um, let's head to Presso Espresso Am uh, right now. Like, this has been over 10 hours just for a sleep. And you'd think, oh, that's actually quite a long time. What the fuck would it take that long? Jesus. It's because I like to talk. I've been enjoying my time streaming this. And this is, you know, not going to deter me, but, um, it's a, it's a, it's a spat. A little point of contention, a bit of anger, a bit of drama in our little narrative here. Spicy tension build up here. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. But then whole garb would have has to be inside out. So it's about pinning it the correct way. sleeves before. I've put sleeves on before. I've never put them on the wrong way like this before. I think my brain is a little bit fried right now. Who wants to see the sleeve? Let's fucking see the sleeve. It's gonna be a big reel button. This is, this is like salt from the wound right here, that I have to do this. I'm born in some angry. <laughs> the arm. It's, it's actually really cool. Um, yeah, uh, 
I'm actually really proud of how this has all come together. Aside from, I've just gone a little fucked up the back uh, right now. Um, I think it's because it's, it's been sewn together and everything's sort of twisted up and, and some bits have actually come undone um, through the quick unpicking. Um, yeah. It's it is it is what it is. I um I I goofed and um you know I I have to live with that. Uh, well, a little bit too excited, I think. Wanted to get this done as soon as I could. And I really should have read the words, not the pictures, on the diagram. Because it would have told me to do it like this. Which is where you put the garb on right way in, put the sleeve right way in, and put the garb inside out, or inside out over the sleeve. Which gives you this little section here. You don't have to fuck around with pleats or anything like that. Because actually, the stuff actually fits into the sleeve holes. And it will sew on a lot nicer. It's easier to um, pin. <sighs> kind of really disappointed myself, actually. Kind of, kind of, absolutely fucking annoyed. Very annoyed. tonight, just like, just put the bits out, lots of fun shit, adult life don't stop, for anyone, yeah, 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 <laughs> I'm real fucking bad, um, yeah, let's 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 repin this. I I'm, I'm at the moment right now I cannot be stuck moving the cameras. Um, so I'm mad. Oh fuck! I just stabbed myself. Oh god! This is this is actual insult to injury. Just total utter disregard for um. What did I do? What did I do to deserve this? To make art? Do you hate art so much? I fucking got myself through with that shit. I need a fucking timble. I need a thimble. Not even a little timble. I gotta survive. I gotta keep the dream alive. Keep that dream alive. 
Welcome to the depression fucking off. Gotta pin the other way, or it won't go through the sewing machine. If I don't pin it right, I'll be in some fucking strife. Cause I will throw the machine through my study window. Wake everyone in the house. Not particularly grouse. Don't want to be doing that sort of shit on the reg. I just want to make sure it's done. Get it over with. This sleep has caused me strife over 10 hours of my life. What am I missing? <laughs> Starts breaking down and crying. <laughs> I just want time to spend in big me. What am I missing? Yeah, you gotta try and survive. Gotta keep the fucking vibe alive. Look, if I pinned it backwards, it's fine. Uh, it's the right way in there. Like, I actually, I quite literally cannot uh, pin it in, pin it wrong. I've learned from my mistake. I have learned from my mistake. He says about to. Pin it fucking wrong. Fucking pin it. Fucking stupid. Fucking cock nose. He'll get it wrong again. Don't you worry about that, boy. I'll get it wrong again just for your little entertainment. It's all for the content. Ha 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 ha. I did it just for the content. I swear. I didn't. I really didn't. Uh, content is not meant to be suffering. Ha ha. And I'm fucking suffering. It's a good pin. It's a good pin. It's still good. It's still good. Absolutely fucking livid I did that. I cannot believe it. I'm so I, I, I am so dumb. It's challenged me. It has insulted me. If I don't do this right now, it's one. It's 
until I finish it. This can keep me on whole fucking note. I need my finish it. I finish it. I'm straight up. I finish it. I'm compelled to. So bad. I'm mad I did that. The dumbest shit. Dumbest shit ever. Please no, Henry, come on. Probably needs another Passover, but that's fine. For now, oh, it's gonna look so good. The back needs to be um, readjusted because it's it's loose, and I want it loose. It's that way in combat, you know. I look like I come out of come out of it like. Oh, I'm 
this the sleeve will tie it up. I'm actually really proud about how this has come out. times In pink. Is this something that we would see a land snack? Oh fuck yes. It actually looks really good. It's turned out really swell. Like it has actually turned out really good. I am, in all things considered, very proud how this has turned out. I had a hiccup that that made me very grumpy. I got upset. <laughs> um that's fine. That's 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 okay. It's turned out really good. Um once I get these you know hemmed and holed up and all that sort of stuff. It's gonna look even better. to get the other one, you know, and then it's like, you know, you add shit like fucking tie to so like this, this is like, oh, like up here, would be here, this one. like that then suddenly it's a little bit more land schnecky like it's a little bit more it's got a bit more of that like yes I'm a land schneck look mm -hmm. oh a bit goofy that's uh actually has turned out really good I'm very very proud and then and uh very impressed how it has all sort of come together, considering I don't want to fucking just screw it up. Um, especially this. This is this is the pleating in this is kind of really great. I like the the extra looseness that this sort of gives it as well. I like it, that is definitely a 
It definitely looks like lunch snack. You know. The back. Just to put, hey, it's whatever. This it looks fucking cool. It is, I'm at actually pretty fucking dope. And this bit here, like this bit here, makes it feel like a little bit more uniform and everything. Like I'm quite, quite actually elated. Well, no, that's actually just sometimes. So. But no, it looks, it looks like Lanchneck. It feels like Lanchneck. It's great. I'm actually very pleased with how it's, how it's come out. Damn. Fuck it, let's roll the pants. Let's roll the pants, let's roll the pants. This is going to look really cool at events, actually. I'm very excited to show some events. Like, it just comes together so well. Once this is finished. They're all meant to, like, the, this is meant to be tied to the, damn, damn, that actually looks really good, that actually, I'm actually, oh, okay, I'm kind of chuffed, I'm kind of chuffed now, I'm not going to lie, um, I'm going to end the stream, and then I'm going to take a photo, and then I'm going to push into my social media, the hiccup wasn't as bad as what I thought, it's a good little lesson, uh, I tempted my, tempted my expectation coming into how it's come together. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate all of you for watching for six hours. The longest stream I've ever done. Hands down, the longest stream I've probably ever done. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you to uh, uh, Arab84, um, moderately chill. Thank you so much for the raid. Uh, that uh, means so much. Um, uh, yeah, um, thank you. Uh, I appreciate you all, and, um, we're doing this again tomorrow. I'm mad, I'm doing it, I'm doing it again tomorrow, fuck it, why not? Um, yeah, thank you, thank you all so much. Um, yeah, uh, this has been an absolute fucking, um, mammoth of a knock. Um, thank you all. Uh, okay, thanks for that.